And I told her basically, Hello, like, that's a dog. It's just too tight. Yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> um, so we're going down in this tomb, right? Right? Yes. That's exactly what's happening. You've kicked off the lid, and you're the first one down, Arrakis. You're running down super excited. Without no, a second, no, 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 we no, no, didn't wait, kick wait. off the lid. Yeah, we, we didn't push it. Push the tomb. Side. And I said right. that Garp is going first, then yep. me, then Ren, then the bear, I think. Oh, also, everyone's recording, right? Yes. Yes. I wasn't. No. Hold on. I am now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good Don't worry job, professional, professional. Good fucking job. Good fucking job. <laughs> so we're going down Episode cautiously. Episode 100. Oh. Hell yeah. As we start to descend the stairs, I stop for a second and say, everybody, be cautious. We don't know what we'll find down here. I'm not equipped for battle. If we do face any resistance and it looks bad, perhaps we could retreat and come back. It's not doing anything stupid. Hear what you're saying, Arrakis, but there should be nothing down here. But I will keep a cautious eye. And I hope I don't need to say to all of you to respect the remains of the deceased down here. <clears throat> Places like this always gave me the creeps. Javelin down in dungeons and used to go down to the crypts underneath the castle. Always freak me out. I don't like being here. Father used to lock me down under there. Tell me to go and get a bone and bring it up. This place isn't filled with the bodies of your ancestors, my friends. This is something entirely different. We could face anything down here. Just keep your wits about you and I'm sure we'll be fine. Like you said, there's probably nothing. And Grau is in bear form, correct? <laughs> yep. Right. I will lead the way. Um, I'm down now, through HP. I do not have the light on me. Yeah, so here's the thing. I have a torch. We're already at dim lighting right you're doing this during dusk was the idea i i recall correctly nick um yeah i think so yeah <clears throat> so it's dark outside when you look down this staircase it's pitch black like if you walk down there you're just gonna be walking into darkness and yeah no you're gonna be completely I lit blinded, the torch. so we lit we light the torch i'm carrying it since i can i don't have a weapon to sacrifice okay. So it's August first, then Arrakis with Sigris. the torch. Arrakis, I'm sorry, yeah. Soon to be okay. Sigris. And then Ren, and then Garp. No, and then Grau. Grau. Yep. Okay. Um. Let me <coughs> assign lighting conditions to your your torch bearing man. Oh yeah, we got Should a map. We words. have more than one torch. We Wait, are do. we on a map right now? No, We're pulling. not. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm setting Sorry. up the next map, but I need to make sure I have the lighting conditions right. I think we should have two torches. Yeah, fine. Yeah, if you, you can, can wear a torch, you can. Yeah, you I'm gonna a, a take a torch instead of my dagger in my uh, left hand. I will, I will add light to your character sheet. There's a zombie down here. My dad always said to go for the head. It seems to kill him quicker. <laughs> Weirdly, my dad said that too. Wait, what's your family? Are we brothers? <laughs> no, I'm afraid I'm no uh, lord <laughs> like yourself. All right. No lord anymore. Mm, they thought Second it was in the blood. Edition. Sorry, yeah, go on now. No, it's cool. Uh, second edition <clears throat> doesn't do bright and dim. It just does light radiuses. So I'm going to give you a light radius of 15 feet for your torch. I feel like and that isn't call true, because in the Shadow Mage thing, it says I get bonus and low light conditions. Yes. Well, it's not that low light conditions don't exist. It's like, in 5th edition, your torch will spread 10 feet of oh, bright light and 10 and feet of dim light. Of yeah. And in 2nd edition, it's just 15 feet of light, period. Is it possible that we could play it like the 5th edition? Not. We don't have to do it now, but just going on in the future, because I think it's nice to have the little low light, too. Even if it cut down on the amount of brightness we got in the big light. Let's yeah. not worry about that. Future thoughts. Yeah, future thoughts. I think that's these are the, there's also something kind of terrifying about just having a little bubble of light. I don't know if you guys ever played Final Fantasy Chronicles. You had to basically uh, play in this entire like fog of miasma, and the only thing you had was like this little tiny your torch area? to keep it back. And that was all you had. You couldn't <clears> go outside <throat> that area and you had to carry it. and one player had to like carry it around. It was very cool. So I like the yeah. idea of there being like a very clear wall of like darkness. Be cool too. We're going to descend into the tomb. The party makes their way down. 
it is uh, dim in here. But ooh. as you, as a second torch comes into view, <laughs> enough group light is shed that you can see just off to your side um, the reflected light of a dozen eyeballs, more than a dozen blinking eyeballs in your way, and the low ribbits of what must be a swarm of bullywugs. Neil, I rolled we'll a roll fucking 19 initiative. on my perception check last session when I was sniffing around. You're telling me I didn't <laughs> smell this. You didn't smell the bullywugs that were underground under the sealed tight tomb? Absolutely. I'm a bear! There were dead bullywugs up on the surface right next to the tomb. You smell bullywugs, yes. but you're smelling the dead ones that were three feet from That's you, not the ones that were underground covered by rocks. Uh, Obviously. Right. I fucking Obviously. get it, Nick. Look at my initiative. Yeah, no, good job. I think we should retreat. What? Well, everyone roll your initiative. Okay, Declare Grau rolled a four. What, well, you still want to retreat? Grau's attack. Uh, August is attacking with his glaive. Grau, are you... What is your goal? Fight I'm, or flight? Fuck, I'm fucking going in. Yeah, you are. Nice. Arrakis? I'm trying to move back to let them pass me. Fucking Excellent. And Renat. Ada! I'm, uh... <clears throat> well... I can't see what's happening, so I'm just charging forward. I haven't made an assessment yet, and nobody said yeah, run away. Yeah, you probably, you well, you probably hear me like ah, bully walks, and I get into combat. How many? <laughs> Ten. A dozen. <laughs> I can't. I count. I can't. Lots. <clears throat> That's it's too many. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I, I just don't have any spells. Like, I'm literally not going to be able to do anything. But we're in such a unfavorable position yeah, I mean, that probably only two of in, us so. can attack anyway. So it's not... well, yeah, but only two of them can attack, too. For a perfect hold, position. We hold this kind of a formation, we can have a 3v2 standoff. Yep. All right. Well, here we are. Let's turn on the battle music. Let's see how many can attack me before I can move. And... <laughs> See how it goes. Nick, I got you. Just We're chill. Fine. We're chilling. We're fine. We'll We're fine. Are they like in a we'll be... pile over there? <laughs> There's a it's, it's, kinda... it's a bullywug orgy. There's a boss <laughs> as well. Are they like in a giant brood? Is this a bullywug king? Like you know when rats get tangled together? Oh, yeah. What the f what's going on in there? Mmm. Well, Grau, you're the first one to go. You sniff the bullywugs as everyone is looking over at them and seeing their glassy eyes bouncing back at them. You're on, as you can see, there's like a staircase coming down here, but oh, wait, you're already Neil? at the Sorry. base of the stairs. You have to give Pierre um, light. He doesn't have, he can't, he can't see the map at all. He's, uh, oh. Does that make sense? Uh, yes, he... he just needs to be assigned all of your tokens. Yeah. Yes, yeah. here we go. Pierre. <clears throat> Okay, hold on. That's Arrakis's token. <coughs> Pierre. Pierre. There Sorry, chat. is August's token. While we fix this, make sure to go to patreon.com slash save or die and sign up. We are so close to the number 420 patrons that it's sickly. Thank you. Oh, yeah, nice. You could be the 420th patron, which means if I ever see you in real life, we're going to roll up a blunt together. Let's go. And get high out of our minds. <laughs> Mm. Talk about the universe. Nice. And <clears throat> and biology. <laughs> and your mom. All right. All right, that's sorted. Grau, you All go. right, Grau. Grau, it's your turn. You're at the right, can near I, the bottom of the staircase. Can you get a, past me? You will, he can just jump to the side. This is like, you know, three oh. feet down. Oh, that's not oh. a wall. That's like a carpet. Oh, I thought that was a wall. I thought that was a wall, too. Yeah, that, the, no, that's, those are, these are carpets going around the room, and you don't really care right now, but there's, like, words carved all around <sighs> the sides of the walls, but you don't got time to read that shit, there's because there's hundreds of eyes. I also hundreds. cannot read, for I am a bear. All right, I jump Hundreds up. of eyes? <laughs> Dozens? Who knows? There's a lot, okay? They're blinking. Whoa. You don't have time to sit down and count the eyes. Boom. Um, it, you approach the pile of frogs. Yeah, come at me, bitches. Bear claw Guys, I think we at whatever the fuck is closest. I think mm -hmm. we should retreat to the entrance. <laughs> I agree. Bear claw! Um. Boom. 16. Oh, beautiful boom. hit. For two you damage. immediately drop a bullywug. Okay. Oh, we're fine. Zero. We're chilling. We're fine. Oh, we're oh, okay, we're good. 
We're gonna well, kill their two, babies. Five is a miss. Oh, and I bite wait. for the next one. Let's go. Bite his head. Yes. 19. Oh, that's a beautiful hit. Oh, Another I bite its fucking head off. You, you grab it. You bite the head off the body, like tosses over this way, uh, dropping the spear along the route. There are two dead bullywugs. Next up is one of these other guys, and they're in the pot. And this one will... Uh, they're in the pot? You know, they're in the pot. Oh, there, the problem like is that the ceiling... Pot? <laughs> the ceiling here is too short for them to do their 30-foot <clears throat> leap. They're just going to hit the surface. Nice. So this guy has to crawl out of the pot away from his <laughs> brethren and uh, schloop, schlip, schlep, schlep across the floor towards the bear, where he will then just stab as normal with a hit. A hit against the bear for five points of damage. Not cool. Five? Gar five points. It's a spear. Does average damage. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna move over here, Koibu. Um, do you want me mm -hmm. to move up one more? I'm reach two, so That's I'm fine. trying you to can hit. hit. Okay, you can hit the I'm pot from here. Attacking. I'm praying to cheese that this will hit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's <sighs> a critical 22. hit. Twenty-two. Yeah. Or twelve-ish. And roll me another d10. Another one in there. Yeah, matter, please do. But I will. Well, the Ooh, problem ten. is, is that we've got. <sighs> 22 10 damage. bullywugs crammed into this tight area. And so I think when you do 22 damage nice. with a glaive attack nice. at range, you pierce through the first bullywug who had 5 HP, and Got then you're going to pierce into the second bullywug um, who has 4 HP. Uh, so we'll count with that one as 8. So that's 13 damage out of your 22. Um, so I think I think we're gonna manage. You get three frogs on your spear. I can't give you more than that. That's ridiculous. I skewered him, Uncle. Look. I pull him out. Um, <laughs> Never mind. And they Press the attack. <laughs> slide off your glaive. <laughs> this is one's dead. All right. Bullywug the boss. lead bullywug will come on out, uh, moving past the bodies of his dead brethren, moving towards you. This guy did not get the uh. macros that he was supposed to have, and he will short sword into Garp's body. I'm surprised August's he doesn't body. have an inherent oh. hatred of the color red. It's a hit. It's a it's a crit. It's a crit. Uh, if it's by five, yeah. Yeah, and he uh, will hit you for two d six plus okay. one damage. Not terrible. Uh, oh. Twelve points. Ouch. <sighs> it's okay. Right. The next bullywug uh, will stay in the pot, but turn towards Growl. And spear him with a... Oh, it's another 17 oh. for eight points of damage. Shit. Excellent Good little hit. bully bug. Uh, and this last one will crawl out and come over to August and spear at August with an 18 uh, plus one is a 19, uh. which is just not a crit. It's missing critical damage by one, but it will hit you for six and render you unconscious. Fuck. Uh, this is a dead bully bug. And Arrakis, you have a torch and not much <clears throat> else. Um, you're making. I, I roll initiative to move. I, I you're not gonna let me I think cast you the spell are instead. Moving. Or yeah, you're still moving. Then. Um, I can't like at some point in this round decide to cast a spell. <sighs> nope. My initiative. Absolutely not. Hundred percent no. Um, I would like to try and. Would I take an attack of opportunity if I try to pull August's body away? No. Fuck the bullywood boss. I've got to make space for Ren. To get down here on his turn. I'm gonna try and just pull his body into the corner of this room over here. So not okay. me, but the but his corpse. Yeah, and then I'm gonna stand mm. here and hopefully. Well I think that's here. gonna be like you move and you pull towards you, right? Because you've got only you only have one hand free. So you're holding the torch. You can grab him and drag him to you, but you you don't you can't slide him to the side. So you can move yeah, to okay. the corner and pull his body over then you. Then I can the step back I can step back over him though. Alright, <coughs> that's fair. Yeah. I like it. Renatus fur. Um, am I too high to attack down onto this guy? Right, right. No, in fact, you get a bonus to hit for attacking down onto Sweet. that guy. High ground, baby. What the, gotta... the one d twenty plus two? What? A... Uh, one for high ground, one for flanking. So your attack roll plus two on top of it. All right, I think I think I just roll a flat. Oh, thank God. Wow, well, I think you just you just stab the bullet through the skull. That's a critical hit. Sweet. Uh, one d eight times two. There's no bonus to damage for being high, is there? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> 15 damage. 
yeah, you you split the Bullywug skull completely open. His brains drip to the ground and he <sighs> dies. Uh, and right. then I'm going to use my movement. Thank you, sir. To Agent. engage these two guys. Um, Excellent. And would, like, I'm not making an attack, but I was thinking of, like, tossing my torch over, like, here. Sure. Hey, okay, I'm going to toss my torch to this tile, and then next turn I'll try to take out my dagger. Excellent. Uh, let me just grab a torch. And we're going to give it 15 feet of light that everyone can see. And we're going to take light away from you. Perfect. Voila. They were just in the pot. Initiative. <laughs> Initiative. Yeah, they were just in the pot. They were just chilling all together, having a good time. I, I just did three initiative to bleed, but... Thank you. Hot luck. <laughs> okay, those are some actual decent rolls yeah. from the lads. Mmm... <laughs> I keep my got so fucking grim. lucky on this roll. Yeah, he does. Says the person who killed three <sighs> bullywugs with a single attack. Mine's not luck, it's skill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Arrakis. You can now okay, do whatever yes. it is you're going to do. I make some magical signs with my hands and say some magic words and cast blur on myself. They're going to get scared, though, because he's a fucking magician now. Yeah. Mm. Put it in the chat for you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Minus four on any attacks, minus two on any successive attacks, and a plus one on all saving throws. Well, the okay. directed attacks. Uh, the Bullywog boss. <laughs> They've downed one of you. The bear's at half hit points. His minions have been slain, but he's still the boss, and he's unfazed. Uh, and so, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Renatus, the Bullywug boss, is going to take his short sword, and he's going to drive it into the body of the great, uh, the great old man. Eleven. No. Thank you. My spry Garp. limbs bring me away. <laughs> yeah, I bleed. Oosh. I'm down to negative two. Lead a point. I'll fix it as well. Growl. Time for some fucking bear claws all around. Who ordered? Who ordered the bear claw? Any? Any? Boom! Twenty-one oh, crits. It's another nice. Critical. Let's do it. Oh. And another, another D three on top of that. Yeah. Get his ass. You, you rip open the bullywog's body. Blood oh, flows yeah. everywhere. <coughs> uh, next, the one. The, the one who's there's none to the right of me, right? It's just yeah. Okay, the one next right, to Renata's fur. Bear claw. Seven is a miss. Miss. I bite. Miss. Big bite. Big bite. Big bite. Nine. Whoosh. Whoosh. Uh, that's a dead bullywug. The one up here on the top. Now, he's maybe not as brave as all of his enemies, uh, all of his allies. So he's going to make a... Oh, we need to add morale to the bodily bug. Morale. Check. Um, he rolls a nine. That's a success. That's all he needs. The Bullywug will step forward with a little mini hop and thrust his spear into, uh, into Arrakis' body. <laughs> 19. <laughs> uh, your blurred means your AC is up by two? Four. Four. Still hits. Though. Okay. Yeah, it'll still hit. Um, I think it'll mm. still clear by five. Oh, fuck. Which it's a crit. A pretty crit? Yeah. It's a mm. crit. Average damage. For another 2d4 Fine, on top of the die. six. Six and six is 12, bring you to one <sighs> HP. Oh, Jeez. how quickly the tides turn. Renatus, fur, it's your turn. Uh, gotta I'm gonna, get him. <clears throat> I'm going to step one tile north <clears throat> and mm -hmm. attack this one to keep Arrakis safe. Uh, Excellent. And in the midst of my attack, would I be able to take out my dagger and attack twice? Totally. 100%. <coughs> uh, okay. It's just at your side. You can grab it, no problem. If it was on the floor, we'd be arguing, but at your waist, yes. you're good. So I'm going to make an arming sword attack, a 12. Uh, that's not good enough. 
Darn. We got thick hides. And then I'm going to make an offhand attack with my dagger for 13. <sighs> oh, still not good enough. And I do believe we're at the initiative phase. Oh. Yes, we are. Boom, roll low, come on. 12, my, my initiative is grim today. I got this, guys. Yeah, I'm going to have to... I just need one of the bullywogs to miss ever <laughs> at any point. <laughs> True. Just for clarification's sake, you rolled a ten on your morale check. Or I guess well, you rolled a nine and it needed a ten? I don't know how it works. Morale check for bullywog. Nine equal nine play base plus zero. Check ten something morale. Yeah, I, I think I'm not sure whether you need to beat the number or get below the number. Oh. In fact, I think it might move from time to time. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. The Bullywog boss is first. And <laughs> um, let's see. It's got a bear to one side and it's got a human warrior to the other side. But the bear is wounded. So we're going after the bear. He's going to take his short sword and he's going to yeah, thrust it. Come, in come at me. Come at me. Deflect. 14. Oh, shit. Is good enough. The short sword will plunge into you for five points of damage, I don't give a leaving fuck. you growl Sorry. at six. God. One strike from dead. Go, uh, growl, go. Kill him. Bear claw at kill the him. boss. Eleven. What level, is, what level is Renatus right now? He's got 16 AC, this guy. Four. You're fourth? Growl, he keep making a... your attacks. Keep making your attacks. We'll deal Whoa. with Renatus when his turn comes along. Miss! <laughs> 15. 15 is one shy. You oh, can get no. your claws like past the shield and they hit that rubbery bullywug hide and they just sort of like slide <clears throat> off, leaving scratches, but not doing any actual damage. Arrakis, you had rolled in for movement. You're getting the Do hell something! Out of here. I've got no spells. What did I just you say? You have a fucking club! On one health, you want you think I should go into melee? No, it's fine. The remaining uh, bullywug. <clears throat> Just leave your friends to die. It's okay. Wait, I want to say something before the bullywick starts because no, it's fine. Renatus Red should robe, have a typical plus one. Red robe mage shit. <clears throat> Renatus should have a plus one because he's fourth level. They get it at fourth, right? Rogues. Uh, His dagger yeah, he should does have, have one. Well, he he's no encumbered. No. Well, I shouldn't be encumbered, should I? Well, he drops your... his bag. Character or, sheet says you're encumbered. Uh, it's too late. Not, we're, we're going forward. We're, ne we're not retconning. We're not Renatus conning. Old it's shit. barely a retcon. It hasn't even hurt. No, nope, we're not doing I'm, it. I refuse. <clears throat> we're not going down this route. It just takes arguing for days and combat slows. It's done. Okay. It's done. It's a good thing we didn't go find the fucking Ankh eggs. Am I right, guys? <laughs> we would have gotten fucking destroyed. This guy will stab. Whoosh. Spear goes nowhere near Renatus' body. Yeah, that's body. fucking right. Garp, whoops, sorry, wrong blah, 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 <clears throat> uh, you went, you went, you went, that guy goes, Garp leads, Renatus goes. I didn't realize it was encumbered. Now no longer encumbered, having slipped uh -huh. out of my bag. <clears throat> uh, I will make an arming sword attack against the bullywug to my north. The douche, 14. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'll do. Kill it. Bam, seven damage. Oh, bringing oh, the Bullywog to one. Come on, bro. Who's this guy? Well, a lot of them rolled one HP, so you got to get one with eight. I'm, a, I'm an offhand dagger in them. A douche, mm -hmm. a three. I critically Critical fail. miss. That's going to force boss. another morale check, though, at least. It's oh, yeah. it's new initiative, right? Unless you uh, you're right. It is new initiative. Excellent. Oh, fuck. Oh, you got fuck. this, boys. 14. That's bad. <laughs> oh no. Not the worst. Uh, Renatus, <clears throat> you rolled initiative with your dagger. You didn't roll to attack with your dagger. What? Oh, I'm that's range. <laughs> that's why uh, you rolled a 3, is because you rolled a d10 plus 2, not a d20 plus whatever you were supposed to roll. Oh, Considering whoops. it's. Just roll the. We haven't moved on. 17. Oh, nice. 17. Yeah, that's hit. what I'm fucking right. talking about. Hell it. Uh, Red combat, damage. koi boo. Oops, <laughs> Say, it was, no, no one else had taken a turn. It was fine. Uh, okay. Okay. <sighs> Guy's down. It's just the one Bullywug boss, and he's killed oh, essentially and that was the one three who enemies. Got this. 
We got it. Arrakis. Throw okay. your club. I get, I don't have a club. I go down here and I pick up this guy's spear. Yeah. And I throw it at the bullywook. You are not proficient with spear. That's true. 20 minus two. Minus five to hit. Oh. He's a, he's a mage, 20. not a warrior. So uh, he has high ground. Two five. <clears throat> high ground, okay. though. Uh, not for missile weapons. High ground does not come into play. Only for melee. Um, okay. So I need 20. You see 20. Yes. <laughs> Whoosh. Garp bleeds to death a little bit more. Growl. What do you, you what, have? What one do you want? Spell. Mace, what do you want? One negative four. Okay. Claw number one. Come on. Oh, man. <gasps> Whoosh. Think, Claw imagine your Archie. Shield. Imagine your Archie. Yes. 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 Right, let's see how much health this guy's got. For four. Okay. We're okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. okay. We're got fine. it. We can got do it. this. Come on. Yes. I, bite, I go for the neck. I go for the fucking throat. Let's go. Uh, fat fucking throbbing throat. Get him. Oh, the Florog is too fast. He will nimbly dodge out of the way of your bear bites. Um, and it will take its turn. It's facing the two of you now. Uh, the bear is the one who successfully hit it. The bear is also injured, so it's going to stab at the bear. With no. A. No. Give me a, a two. plunge. Ooh. Yes. It's a miss. Yes. It's a miss by one. It oh. barely misses the bear. Drow dodges out of the way elegantly. Nice. Renatus heroically swings his, his sword with an attack roll of three. <laughs> <laughs> and then heroically backhands with the dagger for 20. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. yeah, Net 20. Baby. It's not a crit, though. It's it does not a, not a crit. Even though no, not a 20? clear his AC by five, you need a 21 to crit him. <sighs> okay. Oh, that feels... Feels uh, so Why does it go to 90 there? Because he has a negative uh, two to hit. <clears throat> cool. Nice. One damage, guys. Right. <laughs> Excellent. Just get him again. Initiative. Initiative. Yeah. Okay. There you go, Nick. Get in there. Oops, that's not that button. I need to learn my buttons better. Okay. He goes first. It's fine. We got this. <clears throat> All right. The Bullywog boss. Clearly seeing outnumbered. This battle's not going well. There's only one chance for survival here. There's only one chance to make a stand. And that is to go this way. Right <laughs> past his enemies. Up the staircase. Kill the guy there. And get the fuck out of the way. But in the Classic. process. He's going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Actually two, two. attacks of opportunity. Right. Wait, I, I say he, should, he should take an attack of opportunity from the bear as well. Because he's clearly not guarding himself. He's fucking moving around me. Yeah he's, okay. yeah. yeah he's still adjacent to me. There's an open space here. He goes right between the two of you. Doesn't provoke an attack. 18 but with my hit. arming sword. Another One two damage. will. It's <sighs> okay. <a> Twenty. <laughs> Eighteen. And the dagger. One with my two with my dagger. Quick question, Neil. Before you roll on me, I'm gonna follow. Yeah. Blair doesn't make it clear whether it's successive attacks from the same person that reduce the benefit bonus to minus two, or if it's any attack after that. My argument would be that since I've not been in his field of vision, that he'd be back at the minus four. Ooh. Wizard causes the outline of his form to become blurred, shifting and wavering. The distortion causes all missile and melee combat attacks against the caster to be made with a minus four penalty on the first attempt and minus two penalties on all successive attacks. Um, there's just a lot of bookkeeping if we're trying to track who has made attacks against you in at four and at two. Well, let's do it. Why not? Why not, Nick? Okay. Nick, he gave you one. At, you see that? At, he gave you one It doesn't right matter. When he it's rolls a roll. twenty, I also right? would have thought it won't, that it won't make a rolls. difference. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the bullywog boss is on the staircase. He tries to plunge his sword through your body and make his way out, but it's not going to work for him. Arrakis, it's your it's turn. My go. I was, it is ass. Wait, I've got high ground, right? Yeah. I plunge my Chris into this bullywog's neck. It's a D twenty plus one for high ground. The wavy dagger comes out the first time. It plunges towards the Bullywug. Yes! With fear. With enmity. <laughs> and it strikes. Digging Let's deep. Let's go. Three damage. For three points of damage. Letting Garp bleed to death for one. And Ranatus for to take his turn. 
I will... Did I already take my... No, I didn't. I will step forward <clears throat> with my blade. Plus and I will back. swing. Plus two for back attack. All right, so plus two on this attack. That's a 16. <laughs> that's a 16. No hits. Boom. Yes. Six damage. Boom. He's dead. And that's it. Do it. Woo. I go and stabilize it. August. Let's go. All right. If I draw my sword out of him, I say, I always fucking hated frogs. <laughs> that was too close. What did I say about retreating if there was a fight down here? We need to help. We need to help. Gar we need I'm, to help my no, boy, I'm, I'm, August. I'm, say I'm saying this while I'm bandaging August. <clears throat> Neil, I'm to uh, going to. I don't know what I have available. Fucking human form, sure. Let's go with that. <gasps> uh, you regain hit points. True. You're short uh, 18, so roll me a d6 times 10. 40%. 40% of 18 is. Uh, 7. Plus 7, sure. That's, yeah. <clears throat> Beautiful. And I run over. I only wow, have one of help? these. I'm already yeah, doing I mean, it. I'm literally. I'm helping him right now. Oh, he's going to heal me, Elmer. Do magic. All right, um, you will heal him, which will bring him to one. No dice rolls needed. Okay. One HP. Um, <sighs> August, are you okay? By the gods, that bullywug. He's no man. I'll kneel down and put my hand on his, on his shoulder. I say, but you killed three of them in a single strike. You're a you're a great warrior. I would have got more, but he got me with a cheap shot. <clears throat> That was right. amazing. We made it. We, we um, need to get tomorrow. out of here. Come back it was tomorrow. human time. That was so cool. <laughs> did you did you shout it, Growl, while I was down? I, I was a bear. I couldn't. I I, I growled it. Oh, good. <clears throat> okay. Don't All right. Help me much. up, and I'll hold my hand out. Thank you, Growl. Let's let's get out of here. Let's take a moment to inspect yeah. this room, and if we hear anything, we run. We could be safer down here for the night than anywhere else. That's true. Were they having some fucking orgy in that pot? I think that's where monsters? they sleep. I look oh. into the spawning pool, Neil. What do I see? <clears throat> um, it is a recessed pool in the ground that's dropped maybe a foot and a half, maybe two feet in. It's hard to tell because there's a whole bunch of water in there. And you can see that the this is like the low spot of this entire floor. And any water that happens to drip in from the ceilings or seep in through the walls, which there is plenty of because there's like a swamp above and around you, um, tends to just congregate into this little dipped in pool. So it's not um, like a mat. It's not been made like a pool here. The room. It's just... It's just a natural pool like they the chill in. No, no, no. Someone built a, a spot for water to collect in the middle of this room. Uh, really Without quick? A, like, knowing that it was going to be a leaky room, okay. they built in a basin mm. so that the water would drain and you could walk around the room without the whole uh, thing getting, like, gross and wet. I, stop. I go into gnome form and then into orc form. Uh, 40%, yep. 40%. So I gain 20 and then 40%. Um, I'm missing... Oh, God, this is so needlessly complicated. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, you're missing 11, so... Probably two here, uh, right? To 15. Two. Yep. And then I'm missing, then nine, missing nine, so I probably... I think I gained three, go to 18. Three. Does that sound yep. right? Yep, And Perfect. I have dark vision. Uh, and you have dark vision. That was I'm, smart. I'm going to sheath my dagger and pick up the torch. <clears throat> yeah, so Excellent. I want to take my torch and start. You said that there's writing on the walls here, so I want to start going yes, around the room is. and trying to see what the writing is. Okay, I've given you a torch, Renatus. I'm going to inspect the room. I have given you a torch and growl. You should have dark vision. Perfect. Um, what is this no. over here that I've spotted? Ah, oh, that is a doorway. It is uh, which might there... not be working correctly on the lighting layer. It's not. What can I see anything through? Uh, well, let me, this should be a one way, did that work? Can you see, yeah, so now you can just see that it's a doorway right there. Um, it's okay. a, a stone door and that's it. All right. It's flanked by, uh, what do you call them? Uh, sconces where you could put torches, um, uh, if you wanted. There's also a sconce at the bottom of the staircase and there's carpet that goes all around and there's writing carved into the walls. I'm going to lean up against the door and listen. Okay. Uh, can I make a ear noise check? Whatever it's yes. called? Yes. A detect noise? Absolutely. So I have a 
Uh, 45% chance of detecting noise. Perfect. I'm probably wearing a helmet. I take my helmet off for the check. Yep. <sighs> Next time. Not put quiet beyond the door. Okay. All right. August is wounded. He can barely move. He's alive, but he'll need a night of rest before he's useful for anything other than picking up that sword off the ground. Yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll inspect the lead bullywog and I'll pick up whatever he's got. He's got a sword and a shield. Okay. Yep. I take a shield, actually. Okay. Piece of crap shield, but it's yours now. We've I just want it for a... the extra AC right now. Got it. At 60. Um... Okay. What does it what does it smell like and feel like down here? Like is it hot and humid and smell like frog and It's cool and humid. Um, there's a lot of moisture in the air, lots of like little bits of water kind of seeping out of the walls themselves and gently running down. There's some mold and some moss, uh, especially near the staircase where like occasionally a little bit of light comes down, and so the staircase has a little bit of uh, mossy moldy stuff on it. But otherwise, it is just a gross, humid, stony environment with uh, rotting carpets running around the outsides and a, a pool in the middle and writing all along the walls. Which I am reading. Yes. I will also um, read some of the walls with Arrakis. This Join room... me as I'm walking across. The, I've got my torch held up against it with my hand tracing across the lettering, trying as I... This room contains the life story of Sigris Shadowhand. I'm going to give you the cliff notes. He was born and raised in Holy City Emberstone. He, at a young age, begged the gods to gift him with magic and spent all of his early youth on sacrifices um, to Malchus, god of humans. He bloomed into magic at the very, very late age of 28 years old. And from there, don't he say studied. that, man. I'm 28. It's not that late. Ancient. It's if you're gonna start doing anything, really it's so old. You should just give up right now. Um, during his study of the planes in school, he became fascinated with the shadow plane and made it his specialty. He chose the black robes. He worked closely with a friend, a red-robed dimensionalist named Norrell. Uh, and together, the two of them probed the secrets of the Plane of Shadow, doing their best to uncover the secrets of the ancients that were lost at the end of the last age. He rediscovered a long lost tower while searching the ley lines of the Devouring Marsh for the cause of its ever present cold. We'll talk about that in a little bit. He probed the theories of the planes. He attained the seventh circle of magic. He wrote extensively about his findings. He raised a few apprentices, and then there's a little section in here honoring the apprentices who lost their life under him in the study of magic. Um, he wishes this tomb to be a place of peace and rest. He has already shared with the Tower of Palanthas all of his great works, so there's no need to loot this tomb. Um, this place here, this tomb, is nothing but creature comforts for him in the afterlife, as well as a few final things to study. There's nothing here worth your time or money to take. Uh, and lastly, there is a request. Please pay your respects in peace before going your own way. All right, so there's definitely bomb-ass yeah, treasure down here. Think. Yeah, that, that, that's mm -hmm. bullshit. Um, now, there's one thing I mentioned... We haven't talked about it because it hasn't been prescient, prescient to the campaign, but as long as we're talking about it here, once upon a time, not even that long ago, the area known as the Devouring Marsh, even though it's in a fairly temperate area, was covered in snow and ice. And it was this weird, unexplainable, magical cold spot in the area. People have long thought it was an orb of winter, or it might be some sort of ley lines, or it might be some sort of cursed thing. Um, a few years before our campaign starts, or maybe a year before, some time before our campaign started, fairly recently, the the cold ended after unknown periods of length. And now the area is as it should be. It should be, you know, the proper warmth and precipitation and blah, 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 blah. Um, and that's a, a relatively recent thing. Hasn't come up because it's not important to the campaign. Uh, but once upon a time, this area was frozen over. When he talks about the ley lines in the yep. marsh. Is that something I could look up? Nope. That would be... 
it's not like there's gonna be a necessary repository of like, here are all the ley lines that we know about neatly organized into one spot. Um, but if you read through each person's writings, they might talk about various ley lines they found. It's in, in the age before typewriters and computers and printers, um, you know, information's poorly organized and you have to search through maybe hundreds of books by hand before you find one passage on the thing you want. <clears throat> so you could look up ley lines, but that would be you know, months or years of research. Okay. These carpets, do they look like they were put here at the site? Yeah. They're old. Um, okay. They're wet. They're gross. I talk to the group and say, what do you guys think? Should we move on? Or do you want to rest before exploring the rest? For all we know, there could be more bullyworks upstairs, right? There could be. Yeah. I think if we're going to rest, we should do it in this room. Are I we think... able to defend ourselves here during the night? It's more safer than being stairs in the swamp out in the open you're not going to get spells back why not are you going to be able to sleep down here you have your bed roll on you yeah I can sleep here okay alright I, I can yeah, take can watch <clears throat> shouldn't be a problem for me um I, I have no need for sleep but we we should at least get one night's rest I think you're a little bit too hurt um August and if Grau could get his spells back and heal you each once, I think I would feel a lot more confident moving forward. Yeah. I agree. <clears throat> All right. All right, well, get set up. I've got something I want to try before we sleep. I okay. wait for everyone to get I'm going to get the around. camp kind of going over here. Yeah. Um, once everyone is going to sleep for the night, Neil, let me know. You're muted, Dale. One minor unimportant question. There's like 10 Bullywog bodies down here. What do you do with them? Are you going to sleep next to these rotting frog corpses? I mean, they're not rotting yet, but oh, they will. No. I think we put look, them outside. Everybody no? looks at Growl. Uh, yeah, we, I could, think we could put them outside. <laughs> putting them outside would also maybe attract predators. So we, they probably won't start rotting for a day. You just mm -hmm. bundle them in the corner. There's also, like, <sighs> six Bullywog corpses upstairs already from the other ones that you killed, right? That's yeah. true. There's only two, I think. Okay, there's some. Um, yeah, Renatus will spend his time on watch uh, dragging Bullywog corpses up and, like, a few okay. feet away from the entrance of the tomb. Yeah, just, just cleaning up the area a little bit, making the tomb a little bit more livable. Yeah, that's what Sigrus would want anyway. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't want his tomb to be a place of just bullywog corpses. No. Well, Once we get settled money, in, do they, they don't use loot coins. I put the. I, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch any of that. <clears throat> Once we get settled in, I put the two torches that we've got in the sconces on the walls. Okay. Um, do bullywogs use money? Um. Like, did they have any copper on them? Well, well, well. Yeah, what did they have? They do have a, a treasure entry, which I... <clears throat> nice. I'm going like to... You. We're going to roll well. This guy had a million dollars on him. We got some richest bully book in the world. Maybe. That'd be your mom. <laughs> <laughs> the day will come when your mom jokes are no longer in vogue. But that day... It's not, it's not today. today. <laughs> I don't think that day will come, I'm afraid. <clears throat> no, you know who will. <laughs> His mom. <laughs> oh, my mom just sent me a meme. Oh, she sent you. me something different. It was a picture. <laughs> <too, though. laughs> All right, Renatus, roll me a d4. What does he want? <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Well, no, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on. Stop. Stop. Don't do that. Yes, sir. I need you to roll me... 30d8. 30d8. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Boom. That's your copper That's that good. you find scattered across all these bullywugs. Oh, we did it. man. Uh, now I need 30d6. <clears throat> Jesus. Hey, Rich. That's oh. 92 silver. 
Woo. It's 10 gold it. already. Where's the gold? 20. I'm sorry, not still uh, veto vetoes. 2d4 for gold. 2d4. Okay. All right. And 1d4. For what? For gems. Let's get it. 1d4, 3. Okay. I like and that. that, that's gems. Roll me. Nice. Um, hmm. oh, we got some treasure, boys. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Roll me a d60. We d60. want high? 60. You want high. Come on. Come on, big money. Boom, 23. <sighs> I'll take a 23. Okay. That's fine. Uh, they are ornamental gems. You are getting uh, malachite gems. Right. More like malachite. How many? Uh, three? Oh, three. Three. Three Malachite. Three Malachite, Malachite gems. I don't know how to pronounce it. C-H-I-T-E. It could be anything in English. I'm not sure either. Yeah, but pigeon sweet. of a language. That's sick. We got treasure, boys. All right. Good job. All right. I have a little treasured notebook open. Excellent, because I, I should write these things down, too. I will... Excellent. Paste it. Thank you. Uh, uh huh. Um, who's putting the money on them? Because it adds weight. I'm yeah, not. it does. All right. Uh, is that one golden copper? Yeah. No, it's in copper coins. The three hundred. No, 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 I know, I know. I'm just asking. Oh. Like, I'm thinking of leaving it. If it's 136 copper and that's only 10 silver or like whatever, I'm just. Gonna it's 13 it. silver. Yeah. You're just gonna leave like copper on the dungeon right, floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna leave that. Pop. Fuck that. We don't. We don't deal in copper. Two and a half pounds. Yeah, we don't deal in copper. Um, I I'll deal in silver. copper. You take it. I'm carrying it. Oh, now I'm light and cumbered. Right. Never mind. I throw the copper away. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm right. dropping. Guys, I can't keep carrying this fucking cooking you know skillet around. I'm leaving. It. We're gonna take our break right here. During our break, we can do weight adjustments. We're going to come back on the other side with a little bit more Save or Die Outcasts. Don't forget the Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Save or Die Outcasts. Our party is resting for the night, okay. and I'm sure it's going to go fine. Wait, when everyone is ready to go to sleep and we're blowing out the torches, <clears throat> I just want to try something because I've got a spell to use anyway before we go to bed. Mm -hmm. do it. So I want to get my stuff. And on my stuff, I'm going to cast Moon Glow, which mm. causes it to yeah. glow with a blue white radiance resembling moonlight. Mm. Um, Excellent. And I would like to move around the room with my stuff between the various people and objects here and just start using this spell to cast shadows around the room. I don't expect mm -hmm. anything to happen, but I'm just going to be doing this again. Yeah. So. All right. Well, as expected, nothing happens. It's good moonlight, though. Yeah. Do you explain to your fellow party members what you're doing? <clears throat> yeah, I'm just exploring the... Um, yeah, because I'll get some of them to like stand up in the room, like rigid, so I can like go around them and cast their shadows around the room. I'm mm -hmm. just seeing how the <coughs> shadows react in this place since it's close to the shadow plane. Grow like follows the light like a cat would a laser pointer. He's very, very entranced by this. But it um it doesn't last long. It only lasts three two minutes. Three minutes. So. Mm, okay. Well, it ends eventually. None of the people no no one's shadows are acting weird or anything like that. No, it's all chill. All totally normal. <laughs> okay, yep. I get to sleep. All totally normal. Everyone can go to sleep, and it's fine. Okay. The night passes without any problems. No monsters arise. No no things come to eat you. It's all fine. Is in the morning, um, depending on his form, I ask Rao if he is willing to heal us. Just <clears throat> I. For sure. Um, so I think because you've got Entangle learnt, it'll mean that you've got a change. Like. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. one of your spells. But we, when does the preparing of the spells happen? Does it happen at night before I sleep, or does it happen when I wake up? When you wake up. In the morning, if you are well rested. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, well, I, I only had one Cure Light Wounds prepared, and I used that to... Yeah, so f so for tomorrow you'd have to yes. learn a different, you know, like expand your. You'd have to entangle. burn the entangle and then learn a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do that. Okay, done. Okay, so if you want to cast them now, I guess. I'll, I'll take the second healing. Nick can have the first. <clears throat> okay, before we do anything, I go. I slept as a bear. I go gnome. Wait, growl. Before what? you swap. Mm -hmm. I know you can't speak to me right now, but can you try healing us from bear form? Does it work? Can you do it as a bear? I point at, like, my mouth. Oh, uh, you have to, you have to talk. I didn't, okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to, uh, gnome form. Roll a d6 for my own healing. Put your mask on yourself first, then help other passengers or children. It's gonna be three right, percent. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm missing six, so I'm healing for three. Going to twenty-one. One. Nice. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. And then, okay. So you you both want uh, the thing? Yes. If you can only cast it twice, <clears throat> I think one on each of us would be best. Well, I I would try. I'll lean on a uh, Arrakis first. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Nice. <sighs> And then I will that means I'm gonna get the shitty roll. August. Lucky. I tried. I I don't. I just. I don't know. It's okay. You did, you did great, Grow. Okay, Grow. You did gold. All right. Thank you. Let's move on. Maybe uh. Maybe Grow. You should go in the front. I'll also pop back down into bear. Did you burn all of your mm. mutations? Not mutations, Ooh. but uh, changes. I did last night. Okay. But you, you... After I woke up, I've so far only gone gnome. Gnome. Okay. Gnome and then back to bear. Yeah. Got it. So he does get his other two ones though, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I, I could do them now, but it's like at this point when I'm only missing three health, yeah. it's yeah, like it's probably going to heal one or zero. So. Yeah. Let's save it. All right. I, Grau, can you go first? I say to him, crouching down in front of him. Yep. I light a new torch. Wait, no, not uh, up the stairs. Down here. <laughs> 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 um, wait, I sniff. Five on perception. It smells, it smells like must. It smells like <laughs> wet. I mean, even though you drag the frogs out, it still smells like dead frog blood everywhere. I would mm. imagine. That's the, yeah. It takes forever to get out. All right, mm -hmm. especially out of the carpet. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. All right, I'm ready. These carpets are ruined. Okay. Uh, Wait, the door before you is shut. It is made of stone. It has a uh, a metal handle. Check for traps. Or, um, Renatus? Before we go, what is our plan? Are we just exploring? What? What? If, what do we... Like... If we find a monster, do we fight it? Do we run? What are we doing? Depends on the monster. We're looking for clues as to the location of the tower. Okay. All right. I'm able to stay back. I have reach two with this weapon. Okay. All right. I will use my thief skills and look for traps. I got a 5% chance. Boom. You got this, baby. Fail. Yeah, it's not traps. There's it's no traps. traps. We're good. Let's go, Grau. You're good. Can he open the door with a ha with like a handle? Or does I guess he's at least as smart as a velociraptor. Okay, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get my character through. Uh, the door opens. <laughs> now, the problem. Hold on, Grout. You don't have dark vision anymore because you're not in orc form. Let me Ooh. let me get rid of your dark vision. I light my I didn't second see anything. torch. <laughs> Right, so Renatus and Arrakis both have torches. Uh -huh. Correct. You want me to go first, Grow? I got the torch. I it clamber the clear over the bear. Of, I don't give a fuck. I light a torch as well. I clamber over the bear and go first. 
Mine's for throwing. Stooped right. and carefully stalking through the halls, taking one tender step forward at a time. Okay. I continue tender. as the only thing I can see and smell is Renatus' sweaty old butt. And you know what? Mm. I've been we've been out in the forest. I've been taking dumps, a wipe. and there's not great there's not great wiping mm. utensils out here. <laughs> mm. And I got those old, I got old man guts now. I see mm. something. Yeah, what is that? I inspect it's... it from a distance. It looks like give me a perception check. It looks like a. Uh, it's uh, like a rug. Uh, twenty one. It looks like a carpet. Oh. I step forward once again. Um, yes. My 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 dungeon diving thievy instincts are tingling. So I sheath my like sword, carpet. and I, I yeah. reach down and I peel back the carpet to see if there's a trap underneath it. Oh, that's brilliant. Underneath that it been good. is just stone. But good thinking. Okay. I whisper back that's to the party. That's why we keep there's you a, around, Rand. <laughs> there's a there's a junction. Rather than, like, stepping out onto the carpet, I would like to poke my head around the corner with the torch. So I'm going to be, like, half on the tile, ready to duck mm -hmm. back if anything happens. I don't know how to, like... Uh, screen left or screen right? <coughs> uh, first. Screen right first. The hell is that that I see? Uh. Uh. Um, the heck is you that? You know, that looks like a, a candelabra fallen to the ground. All right. What do I see over on the left? Not but dungeon. Okay. I very carefully scamper forward. And I move over here Ooh, to the Varakis, right. Go. <laughs> yeah. Coming into view is uh the ruins of a room. It looks like it's been ransacked. Candelabras lie on the ground, some shelving has been pulled down and knocked over. There's some comfortable chairs, there's an open box, there's a little Stop right there because there's this little pool of water in front of you. No, 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 no. Move back. Move back. Damn it. Yeah, wow. There we go. <laughs> wow. You're blocking the way. Move. Go, and it's, go. As you're looking in the water, it begins to move and something. Where, wait, 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 wait. Where is everybody moving? We're describing. You're all chilling. Brown's <laughs> blocking the way with his big butt. No, he's not. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I right click followed <laughs> Renatus. Clearly, that was my intention. <laughs> this, this orker colored ooze or jelly begins to oh, crawl out of this little uh, pool of water as you approach it, Renatus. I wave my torch at it. We need initiative. Back! Can... Back, ye demon! <laughs> the power of Nadineth compels you. <laughs> Wait. Roll initiative. There we go. Nice. Um... Uh... Someone in chat said, at least the floor isn't attacking you like in one of the Ultima games. <laughs> he spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Is it worth my one combat spell on this, do you think? It depends on how hard it hits me on its first attack. You're a wizard, Harry. I think I'm going to uh, just take a pass on this first round. See how things go. As you do, Nick. As I do. With your Classic. wizard dagger, you need to get up in there. And... <laughs> yeah. You need Classic to, wizard. You need I don't have any good stab. Like, uh, Nilrum was, was an awful good dagger user. He would soy stab every time. That's right, he would. All right, Arrakis. You hear Renatus yes. call out, Slime! Or ooze! Or something to that effect. <clears throat> and you, being the clever, fast mage who's always ready, takes your uber-fast movement initiative to... Uh... What I do is I panic for a mm -hmm. second, mm -hmm. and then I will shout to Ren, use your torch, and then I take a step this way so that uh, mm. God, you know, August can get past me. August, it's your turn. You come on and forward. You've got a torch in your hand. You've got a glaive in the other hand. There's a large bear in front of you. I throw... I should be able to... And I, I can throw the torch over the bear to hit the ooze. 
Even if I can't hit uh, the ooze, you I'm can gonna throw get the near. torch over the bear, but it might hit Renatus. It might land on the ground. There's some carpet. There's some wood. There's some candles. You know, it's, it's just stuff lying over here. Um, you're unlikely to hit the ooze because you've got like Renatus directly in front, and the ooze okay, is I'm gonna on wait, the ground. I'm gonna ready my attack, and here are the conditions. I'm waiting for Renatus to move back, and then I'm going to throw when he moves back over him. You're going to throw your torch when you have a ready, uh, an open shot. There you go. Cool. All right. Renatus Fur, it's your turn. Um, I don't have a torch weapon on me, so what would you like me to roll? Uh, just oh, your, your regular attack roll. Your, okay. your non-offhand weapon. All right. Uh, douche. Ten. The torch will get, you know, low to the ground because it's just this jelly that's like climbing out of the water. Um, and as you bring your torch towards it, you notice like little bits of the jelly like dart towards you and you have to pull your hand back before it touches you. Uh, a 10 is a miss against this creature is what I'm saying. Mm. Yep. Um, since Arrakis told me to use the torch, I'm not going to use my sword. I'm going to sheath it and rummage for another torch hopefully having two and each, one in each hand next round <laughs> nice nice Jovial uh, and then i'm going to uh, use my movement i'm going to like step up onto the couch to get off the floor it would be an action to retrieve a torch from your pack because <clears throat> your your torches are in your bag right yeah. and so to throw your bag over your shoulder rummage around and grab a torch put the bag over your shoulder again light both torches. Also, don't you leave your pack at the top of the stairs because otherwise you're encumbered when you fight? That's true. I will scamper up onto the couch, though, to get high ground. <laughs> I right. toss my torch. Throw your torch, buddy. Twelve. That's uh, a mess. Your torch lands somewhere on the ground nearby. <laughs> Sweet. Wow. The carpet goes up? Hold on. It's a little moist Ooh. down here for that. That is, it is pretty a moist. moist. It's not going to light immediately, but maybe give it enough time. Maybe. Um, growl? I fucking charge at the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're Good magic man bear. Growl. Fuck it, man. Magic bear. Let's go. Uh, bear claw at whatever the fuck this is. <sighs> 16. 16 is a hit. Your claws make contact with the orker jelly. And he deals damage. Roll for damage. Fuck yeah. So he's magic, bro. For four. These are one of the most dangerous creatures in the Excellent. entire universe. Off Bear hand. claw number two. Let's go. Six. Miss. Boom. Just eat it. I bite Just eat it. the jelly. Just eat it. <laughs> Just eat it. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it's hard to get. It's only, you know, a few inches thick. Uh, you should be used to that by now, but somehow you still can't get it in your mouth. Um, the orca jelly will take its turn. And we saw earlier how it was sort of like darting out and trying to attack Renatus' hand it got close. But now that the bear is putting its face in it, one of the reasons the bear doesn't quite grab it is because the jelly like throws a huge portion of itself right at the bear's sensitive snout. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> I think but it's a plus misses. five to hit, by the way. <laughs> bear is able to pull back its snout. Its whiskers Sorry. getting ever so slightly singed by the edges of the jelly, um, but not quite being hit. Roll Initiative. for combat. I call back up the tunnel. Arrakis, get the torches. Yep. Arrakis, can't you cast a spell or something? I don't answer him. I swear to God, I'm going to just need to play a wizard if people aren't going to fucking take the good spells. Jesus I'm Christ. taking spells for investigating the tomb, not for fighting. Oh my god. Yeah, you have one fighting spell. Yeah, right? sleep. You could decide, is that going to work? See? I didn't know what you had. I didn't know which useless spell you brought, okay? I would have had magic missile, personally. I don't have magic missile. I'm barred from learning it. Okay. Well, that sounds like a missile. you problem. <laughs> I'm trying to play something different. All right. Arrakis is rolling in with what for initiative? Uh, my torch. I don't know if that's speed two or not. You might need to adjust that. Uh, no, two. increase it by one. Yeah, okay, so I'm on six. Yeah. Garp, you are. I uh, ran August? in for. 
I ran in for movement slash to go and attack him with my torch. I added, I put three as my initiative to go grab you the threw torch your and torch. hit him. Well, okay. yeah, I can walk, right? All right, you're, you're going to go grab your torch and shove it in his face. That's three. That's perfect. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Growl, you're, you're bearing, right? Yeah, I'm being bearing a fucking down bear and I'm fucking clawing this shit. Oh, I'm shit. sorry. I moved. I thought it was my turn. Yeah, and One Renatus, minute. you're arming, swording him. <clears throat> I, that's meant to be yeah. a torch roll, but yes. Oh, it's a torch roll. Three. Perfect. Okay, so you've got your torch in your main hand and no other weapons, right? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, now that I have the lay of the land, let's order everybody. Garp, Gra August, your first. Boom. Big attack for 13. 13 uh, will hit. Yeah, you get up, you grab the torch, you, you want... shove it in the creature. Uh, your torch Before will deal plus... one point of damage. Cool. And we're going to remove that torch, and we're just going to give you <clears throat> torchlight. Thank you. Yep. There you go. The torch is only do one point of damage. Yep. Arrakis. Um, I come up to here. Um, <clears throat> I can't get an attack in, can I? No. I hand my torch to Ren. Although maybe right. the torch isn't the way He's already go. got a torch. I can wield really too. I second torch. Maybe, maybe your sword is better, actually. Is this not like an ooze that destroys them? You want me to use my sword now? <clears throat> I thought it was going to, like, yeah, destroy it, but if it's only one damage, maybe it's not. I'm telling you, I'm not using my shit. You can use yours because we got a backup sword. I'll try backup a dagger. Swords. I'll try a dagger. All right, Renatus, it's your turn. You've got a torch in one hand, a dagger in the offhand. Yep. Uh, go um, ahead and thrust your torch into the ooze's ooze. I thrust my torch. Miss. I thrust my dagger. Nice. Oh, it's a critical hit, all right. Roll me double damage. 2d4? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 2d4, boom. Five damage. Excellent. Your dagger slices <clears throat> through the orker jelly's body, ripping off fine. little bits of slime. Um... And you can hear like a, a gentle sizzling sound coming off of your dagger that you like quickly shake the remains of the, the jelly's body off of it. Growl. Okay. Eat him. Fuck, <laughs> fucking bear claw one. Twelve. Maybe hit. hit. Two. Bear claw two for eleven. Miss. We just figured out it's AC, I guess. Yep. Um, I bite it. For nice. Nineteen. Hit. Seven damage. Ooh. Nice. What does it taste like? Oh uh, well, it, it taste? tastes like burning because you take uh, five points of acid damage <laughs> as you put the creature in your mouth, and it's you know you rip off part of it, and then it begins to burn your face from the inside. Uh, the jelly will go, and it will pseudopod the bear directly. A thirteen to hit will burn the bear for 12 points of damage Ooh. as it begins to envelop your body with acidic Shit. secretions. Max damage. Yeah. So Neil rolls. Crazy. All right. Uh, initiative. initiative. Yeah. I'm rolling in with my torch. I'm not risking my fucking weapon. Grab was at four HP. Wait, why am I at four? Because you just took you 12, 12 damage. damage. I took 12? 12 yep. damage. Plus the five when you bit it and it and put it inside of you. <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, fuck. My roll should actually yeah, be what, nine. What are you going to... Okay. Gotcha. Uh, like... What are you going to do, Growl? Are you going to still fight this thing or are you getting the hell out of here? I'm probably going to retreat. Yeah, maybe you should get out. Okay. Fighting the acid has uh, triggered is... my, my instincts. I'm going to... Go to this corner and... It's like the roll. worst lemon. Oh, it's not your turn yet, bro. Uh, no. It's like the worst <laughs> lemon you've ever bit. Yeah. August, you go first. Uh, I will... will drop my glaive. I will pull out sure. my dagger. Sure. I'm going to do two attacks here. My main hand is going to be I'm going to attack first with the dagger. Yep. Minus two to hit uh, is still going to be a crit. 18, Ooh. which still clears by five, which is a crit. Roll me two D4 damage. Yeah. Okay. 
Five damage. <clears throat> and that'll do it. That is enough. The your combined attacks and damage have shredded the ooze to what it is now just a pile of goop on the floor that is no longer moving. I check my murder hobo dagger. Is it okay? Uh, I mean, it, you know, it's got some... Like, get the ooze off. ...marks on it, but otherwise it's fine. Totally intact. Completely workable. What happens that to the corpse? That's where we're, we're looking at it. It's just like... Um, just it. There's like a little bit of bubbling going on, and there's like a little bit of sizzling going on, but those sounds will sort of begin to die away, and it's just sort of like a goopy ooze. You ever like come across a jellyfish washed up on the beach? Mm. It's just like this jelly thing, and you're like, what the fuck is this? But it's like, you try and you know spread it around, but it's actually like compacted, and it... It's like a, you know, it's like a boob implant. It's just sort of like a jelly hack. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I'm yeah, going. That was creepy as hell. What the hell was that thing, Arrakis? <clears throat> it's a news. They live in places like this. Nothing's bad. Wow, are you okay? <laughs> Great info. <laughs> Rao, are you okay? What's going on? I, I think Rao's hurt, guys. Yes. I'm gonna go in human form. Let me search this room. Nice. Um, 60%. So that's 60% nice. of 20. 20 is 12 HP. It's fucking Jeez. killer. Um, and uh, I'm going to be moving forward and I say, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is your tongue Bro, okay? you might need to do it again. Your tongue. <laughs> I go back in the bear and I go into orc form. The healing is just so good. No, it thanks. is, but... He's just a fucking bear. And 20% of 8 one. is... I don't fucking know. It's 1.6. 1. So it's Round 1, down. so you go to 17. Round and down. down. Is your tongue good? It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't nice. Watch. Let me search this room. I get out and I hold the door. Oh, door. I start, I start searching this room, Neil. I start, like, throwing this broken furniture around and checking what's under it. And... You re-ransack the room. Looking All valuables have been taken. There's no There's papers not left or anything. No. no. There's news. Why, why is it that this place is ransacked already? Because Lord Sackmo's already been here. Mm. <laughs> why the hell are there monsters down here? I guess they moved back in. Mm. Um, are we saying that I've searched this room thoroughly? Uh, yeah, give me a perception check. So. Come on, natural 20, Nick. Yeah. Make him find something. 23? Oh, it's a great roll. Yeah, there, there's not much here. Yeah, I'm checking yep. for, like, you know, secret buttons. I'm moving the furniture, markings on the floor, markings on the wall. You know, you've done a cursory search of the room. If you wanted a detailed search, you could take, like, a full day and slowly move each piece of furniture out of here and scour each and every corner and stack on each other's shoulders to reach the ceiling. But that's, like, many, many hours of work. But for your initial, like, just moving things around, looking about, ain't nothing in Arrakis, here. let's clear out the tomb, and then we can yep. okay. do the long searches. Rao, you wouldn't mind uh, getting in front? Or I guess Renatus. Renatus. I, I can I can see I can see in the dark. Takes the front. Oh, oh do you want? You can see in the dark. Yeah. Oh, Grau. Uh, Grau, do you want your axe? Oh no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't okay. even know how to use that. All right, let's move. All right, Grau. The room before you looks like quite the mess. Um. There's broken shelves, there's broken furniture, there's a, a table with chairs that have been thrown all over the place, there's a, a couple of carpet, actually there's three carpets in here, um, but it looks like whatever was in here has been taken and everything else has been destroyed. Okay. It looks okay, like whatever is in here has been taken and everything else has been destroyed, guys. I'll just do a quick search okay. before we head down. Again, Neil, cursory check of this room, looking for... Yeah. Writings on the wall, hidden Roll it. switches. Thirty. Thirty. You find some broken glass in part of the rubble. Ah, what kind of glass? Thick. I'm like sorry. What'd you say? What kind of glass? You know, is it thick? <laughs> no, it's not super thick. No, but like, what would it? Does it look like maybe it's from a mirror? Or... The it glass looks like maybe. It looks like maybe it's from. 
um, like a vial or a potion bottle or like um, lab equipment of some kind. Yeah, I check this bookshelf over here for maybe the remnants of broken potions, like stains uh, on the if, wood. If there were remnants of broken potions, <clears throat> they've long evaporated or been assimilated by now. Yeah, yeah, no, but I mean like, obviously I'm, they're not going to be any use. I'm trying to work out if there were maybe potions that were smashed in this room. Like, is there, like, Ugh. markings on the wood or, you know, like, what acid is Even with the, spots, with or... the 30 on your perception check, you find no such markings. And that could mean that there never were markings or that there were markings, but it's just way too old. Um, when was Lord Sackmore here? When did he sack this place? I'm not sure. 10 years yeah. ago at max. Yeah, it's been some time. All right, let's go down. Okay. Who's first? All right, let's do it. Um, well, Grousey's in the dark, so hop to it, Grow. I'll go. I got your back. I'll go. And, um, no one closed the door at the top of the staircase, right? That door's still wide open. Oh, hell yeah, it is. <laughs> that door's oh, open. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. There's a million bullywugs gathering in that chamber, <laughs> ready to come down after Oh, us. back to my pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pot's free today. <laughs> it's a good day. <laughs> Right. There's a door, guys. Bottom of the staircase is another one of these stone doors with metal handles. Oh. Ryan, you want to check up the traps? <laughs> yeah, I check 5%. for traps. <clears throat> Absolutely, leave this to me. I check for traps. <laughs> and you know what? It is trap-free, dude. Nice. There's no traps, and I listen. <laughs> I detect noise to see if I can hear anything beyond the door. Success. Oh. Mm, yes. Beyond the door, you hear. What is that sound? It's Grau's heavy breathing. That's the only thing you can hear. <clears throat> should, should, should I go in? Let's Does do Grau it. have pockets? I could pickpocket him. Be careful. He, I think he's naked. Okay. <laughs> he's naked? Think, right? well, well, Grau, you're in orc form. Do your, your clothes transform with you, right? Yes, I have that. like a very, very, very basic rag. But it's the same. Is it the same rag for human orc and gnome form? When you turn into gnome form, <laughs> are you question. in like wildly too big clothes? I'm gonna go with yes on this one. I enter the okay. door. Okay, so it's like tight clothes for the orc, but yeah. like baggy clothes for the gnome. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Um. You open the door. It opens without a problem, revealing the tomb of Sigris Shadowhand. The sarcophagus is already opened, its lid broken upon the floor behind the tomb, behind the sarcophagus. A large carpet dominates the main area. There's a couple of stools near the tomb, some benches on the backside, sconces for torches, vases that are unbroken as of yet on either side of the sarcophagus. I walk up to the sarcophagus and look at the corpse. Um, it is gone. It's completely removed. There's Wait, nothing in what? here. Hang on. Didn't the kid tell me that he rearranged the bones? He did. Yes. <clears throat> so somebody has been. I'm not sure that. who the kid is. Oh, you mean like the great great grandson? Great grandson. Yeah. The old man. Yes, the old man kid. He said he rearranged the bones and put them back respectfully. <sighs> yes, he did. Good. So somebody else has been here and stolen the. Oops. Oh. Since... Well, that's weird. I look or maybe inside. you got, got up and walked around. Wait, is there anything in there? Uh, there's some scraps of clothing that seem to have been disturbed or removed from the body at some point and then not taken when the body was taken. Mm. You know, just a little bit of uh, dirty rag here, a little bit of cloth over there. <laughs> There's some hair. Is it, is it lined? Yeah, there's a little bit of, like, what? Is it lined, the sarcophagus, with, like, fabric? Um, yes. It is stone on the outside with, like, some wood paneling on the inside to give it the shape that you want. And then there's some felted surfaces. I feel around in the fabric to see if there's maybe anything <laughs> unusual underneath it. Um, it doesn't feel unusual on first inspection, but you could rip off the fabric and desecrate the tomb. 
since there's I mean, no body in it. If you want no to body, get... yeah. So I think I do that. I take my dagger out and slice open the fabric. Yeah. Well, while Arrakis is desecrating the tomb, what are the I other know. three of you doing? I'm not desecrating the tomb. Uh, sure. I'm standing, sure. standing guard. Right. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking around the room. Um, respectfully, uh, Ren is not a fan of uh, being in tombs. So he's kind of nervously, he's like looking at the walls. He's like gently peering over and into the pots. Um, he's, he's paying respects to the dead, like it said on the walls to do. He'll like, if any of these pots have coins in it, he'll like drop some of the copper he picked up earlier into it. I guess, I don't know if that's like a thing you do. Um, that is one of the, like, you would leave wine or copper coins, or if you're really wealthy, gold or silver coins. Um, any sort of offerings is what you might leave in or near these pots up here. Yeah, yeah Ren will leave a small offering of copper. So there's like 136 copper in that last room, so you're good. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Well, Sigris, you, you tear open the felt. You pull yes. it back. You see the wooden paneling within... But to your dismay, there are no carvings, no writings, no buttons, no switches, no levers, no holes, no nothing. Just okay. an ordinary. Next order is to check these pots. Are they just full of copper coins and bits of old wine? Um, no, they're pretty much all empty except for the ones that Renatus is presently putting coins in. Okay, well, I check and make sure that they are. Empty, yep. Everything uh, seems as it should be. Next thing I want to check under the carpet. Mm-hmm. Yep, you can roll back the carpet. Some of it is like stuck to the ground by time and moss and mold and ooze and water. Uh, but you can pull it back in all the places and find that there are, appears to be no hidden panels or switches or steps or stairs. Or Just doors. checking. We're now in the morning, are we? This is not nighttime now. Yeah, it's in the yeah. AM. Uh, next thing is I want to check beneath the sarcophagus if we can move it. It'll take multiple men to move the stone sarcophagus. Oh, what a coincidence. I have multiple men. <laughs> no need to brag. I help him. Yeah, you can slide the sarcophagus <laughs> across the stone. Um, you'll see underneath this one is no staircase. Okay, and then I want I go over here to the the pieces of the broken lid, and I want to take them back over to the carpet and spend some time rearranging them. Mm. Back into, you know, the complete. See if there's anything on the lid um, of the sarcophagus. There is. There is. As you flip through them, make me an intelligence check. So, uh, 34. Oh, easy. Yeah, you can rearrange them in their original format without too much trouble. They have the image of a man on them. I'm um, sort of wrapped up in a robe with a staff across his body, um, staring up peacefully in a gentle repose. I check underneath these benches as well. Yeah, empty. And I check the walls for hidden switches and such. Um, me a perception check. Very best one you got. 25. Yeah, it seems to be a pretty ordinary room, just <clears throat> as Lord Sackmore said it would be. Nothing here at all. Uh. Turning right away from the wall, I, this is where I check last and upon my turn away, looking despondent. And I say to the group, um, well, I've not found anything yet. It's time to attempt more arcane measures. Can you <coughs> position yourselves around the room and, uh, like we did last night, extinguish the torches? Are you going to put on the funny light again? Mm. Yes, I close this door, <laughs> Neil. Shh. I cast Moon Glow. I turn off our torches. <laughs> this thing again, Arrakis? Yes. It didn't do anything last time. Well, maybe here it will be different. We must exhaust all avenues before giving up. You can take <clears throat> some of the carpet and wrap it over your torch to extinguish it. Uh, and one by one, the torches will go out until the room is plunged into darkness. And I light my stuff. I ask them to stand more in the middle of the room so I can go around them rather than in the corner where I can't into my shadows. I do, but the map is wonky. Yeah. What do you want? 
We just not be starting in the corner, basically. Yeah. Oh, just don't. He have... wants Renatus out of the corner. Yes. Oh, you want me out of the corner? Yeah, so yeah. I can use you to cast shadows. All right. Make it a shadows. Yeah. Okay. Moon glow. Tell us about how this functions. So you select an item, <clears throat> a creature, a place on a wall or something like that. And it's got no material components. It just causes it to glow with a blue-white radiance resembling moonlight. Mm. Uh, it lasts for three minutes. And yeah. Well, excellent. As the was... spell is completed, there comes the... Well, I guess it does cast light. It casts moonlight. You can see that a mouth appears on the wall behind the tomb itself. Oh. And it speaks the following words. Welcome, Acolyte of Shadows. The room behind my tomb contains a backup of my findings. Three strong men may push in the wall. And then the mouth sort of just loops back into the wall. Did everyone hear that? Hear what? Sorry. And I like put my finger into my ear. I'm like, sorry. What was it? Did I hear it, Neil? Yeah. Magical message. Yeah. We found it. <clears throat> Get to work. Talk. Light the torches. Well, well let's leave we it how it is and push it in the wall. It bites us. <laughs> Swell it. The spell Help will run friend. short soon. Come on, let's move the wall. Push. Push. <laughs> Three strong men push in the wall, and we'll find out what happens on the other side of our break. Let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Save or Die Outcasts. Three strong men. Well, four strong men in this situation. Will, strong well, actually, strong three strong men <laughs> and, and uh, an Arrakis will put their shoulders into this wall and find that it slides sort of back, but also up, and then it begins to, like, hinge and turn. So you're actually shoving this wall sort of upward and then hinging it and turning it, which will lead you into the next chamber. Oh yeah. Oh into yeah. Sicker shadow hands. Two chamber. Three, oh four. shit. <clears throat> Multiple paths. We light our, our torches again, Neil. Uh yeah. Yeah. Everyone should have torches on them that have them. I think so. And then I think the half orc has extra vision. I put away my dagger. Four. I am holding the glaive in one hand like this and I have the torch in the other hand and if I ever want to use the glaive I drop the torch and I go okay so to be clear um, Garp August has a torch, Arrakis has a torch, Renatus has a torch and Growl is just sort of raw dog in chilling. it yeah. um, Arrakis yes. would Sigurus likely wouldn't just give his knowledge away for free would he a student of shadow would have to pass some kind of test in here, wouldn't he? That could be Does the that case. Does that sound logical? It might be, yes. Also, it might not. I'm, he seemed like quite a, a generous man. He gave a lot of his research to the Arcane Towers upon his death, so perhaps he won't hide this knowledge so carefully, but we should be on oh. our guard. All right. I was thinking it's a, it's a school of shadow, so we should be bringing, bringing light into here. Yes, you can't have here. shadow without light. Okay. Here upon the walls are carvings. All the walls are covered with writings everywhere. I inspect part of it. Um, roll is me a d4. Is it in our language? It is in the common tongue. Beautiful. You are reading... Um... You have come across the section of this wall that talks about the history of the people who have been to the shadow plane. And as your eyes quickly glance over this, um, you can you read that you know the ancients used to be able to travel to the shadow plane, um, but there are no as of this moment no known travelers to the plane of shadow since much of the knowledge was lost at the end of the last age. Do I Wait, sorry. Do I understand from Sigris's work and his readings that I've read that he hasn't been to the Shadow Plane himself? Or 
well, that information is probably contained within here somewhere. Uh, Rackus, your understanding know is that he's an expert in the plane, but... I know you're caught up in reading, but we need to continue on. Let's clear this area out, and then you can do okay. your readings. Yes. Well, let's pick a direction and follow it. I point towards the direction that uh, Rao Ra is. Yeah. So I think we go screen Ra, left. go. <clears throat> Don't leave me at the back. Catch up. Guys, the party will emerge into this recessed area that is maybe 10 feet down. And sitting down there is like, um, <coughs> what do you call it? Like um, a pool, not a pool, but like um, a basin. basin that has within it a silvered mirror um, that sort of would reflect light and vision. However, as August moves to this spot, his torchlight will shed down this section of hallway, uh, wherever my ruler is, down this section of hallway. And you will hear a shriek, followed by the sound of flapping wings, and we will need to roll back. initiative. Yeah. No, you That's will fine. roll initiative. What do I see? Nothing? Uh, you see nothing. You, you hear the sound of screeches and flapping wings. What do I roll to... Going to bear, just move. Um, yeah, if you want to just be bear form, uh, d10 plus three. Um, question about mechanics. I can't cast sleep here because I can't see anything to target with it. That'd be accurate. You could cast it Line at cast a point. It. Um, you have to be able to see the point at which you're casting it, but you could still like cast sleep right here. If I wanted to go at the end of the initiative order, could I? Do that. Not casting a spell. Okay. I'm going to just do nothing this turn. I'm going to ready my dagger. All right, Arrakis. You're the first one up. I ready an attack with my dagger if anything gets within melee range of me. Absolutely. Growl. It's your turn. In this corner. I plop into a bear and ready my claws. Excellent. Um, gar I would like to add three to my August. initiative because I'm dropping my torch oh. and getting ready to like attack. I, I'm gonna. What I want to do is move and then ready an attack. That's like my whole goal. I don't even know what this is. I don't understand what you're saying. You're fighting this round. You're so using your glaive in combat. But I want to move back and then ready an attack. Can I not do that this round? Sure. Okay. That's, so that's when, what I want to do. Yeah. For combat, we generally break our actions down into like, I'm making an attack, I'm casting a spell, I'm using an item, I'm just moving around. Yeah. Um, and then the specificities, specificities of those kind of are in flux. So in the um, future, so if you're going to be I... making an attack, you can, yeah. you know, you can reposition, you can move up to half of your movement range and still make an attack. And you need to, at the start of initiative, declare what it is you're going to try to do. And so if your goal is, I draw my weapon and fall back, yeah. getting ready to fight, that's fine. And that would be movement three, or would that be a weapon? That would be attack? your weapon speed. Yeah, because okay, so you're, you're using your weapon as the core action there. Would you like me to add three to my initiative, or would you like me to stick with what I was going to do, which is just move? You're pulling you. out your weapon, so you should roll with your weapon initiative. Okay. Then I'll be at 13. Perfect. Um, fluttering from the shadows comes this blackish, darkish creature, which is just a pair of wings attached to a circular head with large teeth in it. And it'll just sort of swoop in the direction of your uh, hand that is holding the torch. And it will bite at you with a 14. It's a miss. Um, not good enough. And it'll sort of flap and flutter. <laughs> Sort of around. Um, Renatus, it is your turn. <clears throat> um, I'm going to move uh, closer to Arrakis and mm -hmm. hold my attack ready should the creature swoop at me. Excellent. Um, Big as Daddy. August is grabbing his weapon. Another one of these things dislodges itself from the ceiling. 
and comes towards a source of light. You're getting I, out your weapon and you're falling back as this thing yep. comes towards you and you can make your attack just as it makes its attack on you. Yeah. Uh, 14 a is another miss. Nice. Ten? 10 is a miss. Whoosh. Okay. The glaive goes through the air. This My thing torch sort of... should be here. Right. Okay. Attack of opportunity there. That's true. Um, I've reached to as well. Yeah. It does fly at you and then it will flutter away. You do get an 16? attack of opportunity. 16 will hit. Or five. Not enough to kill. Yeah, big hit. <coughs> and it will and disappear I'm gonna move back to here. behind that wall. And I'm going to drop your light, and I'm going to drop a torch in that spot. There we go. Excellent. Um, I suppose we should roll initiative. What is everyone doing? I'm attacking. Uh, I'm ready to attack. Ready to attack. attack. Yeah, I, I want to ready to attack too. Do I need to re-roll initiative, or can I just keep my ready to attack from last round? Um, you're ready. You you will take no movement. You're just holding your position. You can keep yep. your thing. All right. Uh, growl. You're ready. I want to chase after it. Get it. Okay. Go for I, it, bear. I, I dash. Uh, I, but just to be clear, you're you're dashing like this or something. Yeah. You're you're jumping over this five foot staircase, or are you dashing all the way I'm around? Jumping it? over the staircase. Not a problem. I think the bear in your bear form can clear the five feet without worrying about it. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Um, yeah, and it's sort of, per, it's fluttering up towards the ceiling, looking like it's gripping on, maybe like a bat, and you can leap up towards it. I swat at it with my claw. 17. Whoosh, hit. Four. Nice. Excellent. I swat at it again. Nine. Miss. Whoosh. Bite at it. Eat it. Whoosh. It remains out of your reach. Mm-hmm. Renatus. I'm holding my position with my attack ready. Okay. Uh, the chomper will sort of flop down from its high position and try to get on the bear's back, biting at you with a 17 to hit for five points of damage mm. as it lands and perches itself on your back. Arrakis. Um, I can't really see what's going on over there. I'm going to move a little bit closer, I think. That's true. I can't see it at the all. bear can't see <clears throat> it at all either. How did the bear... Smelt it. He smelt it. The bear smelt it. There we go. I, I, see, this, I see this one on the grass it. back. I will move forward and try and... Get his ass, it. Nick. All right. You move forward. Back attack? Back attack, yeah. Yeah, totally. Plus two on top of this. Yeah. Ooh, oh, you critical it. That's another yeah. critical hit right there. Half Beautiful. the damage goes to the bear. <laughs> Five damage. The chomper dies. <laughs> How does it die? I'm curious about this. Is it just like a thing or does it go away? Uh, no, he stabs his dagger through the creature's body and it just sort of like rolls over, pitches to the ground and lays there dead. I grab it. Um, and body. that's when. Oh, sure. That's perfect. No, you're grabbing its body. Yeah. You're looking this way. The next chomper will come up from behind you, oh, flapping, <laughs> and bite at you with a plus two to hit for back attack, bringing that to a 17, 18, 19 to hit for one point of damage. I'll take one. That's fine. Okay. And it is. Wherever you are, it is on your back. There we go. Yeah. Or at your back. Uh, ah. And. Arrakis, not Arrakis, August, you were... I was ready to attack, rolled in but for readying, yeah, so you're hanging I back. I can still go and attack, no? Yeah, you can, can I... see this creature over here. I think... Yeah, he um, needs you help. Were, you were defending, so now you're going to go forward. That's fine. I'm going to run up, and I'm going to go and skewer this guy. <laughs> well, maybe from range. There you go. That's him. Oh, don't roll him. one. 15. Easy peasy. Seven. Yeah. Or ten. You drop it to zero. There if I did roll a one chompers. there, in the future, when something's on like someone, and I roll like a natural one, I think I should hit a racket, if anything. Yeah, that's why I said oh, don't roll a one. Say. Yeah. Um, I yeah. examine this thing's corpse, including Wait. cutting it open. Quick question. On yeah. initiative, like, if I roll in with the, like, if I roll in with a weapon attack with the intent to hold my position and defend, 
if the situation changes, can I then move forward and attack? This like is bear one of those charging? great questions. You should be able to because an attack roll. Attack rolls attack roll. Because I stuck movement. with my action rather than mm-hmm. like. And mm. this is this is one of those areas where I was kind of hoping maybe we should have a a real chat about one day. But it's always so hard just to have a real chat about the rules, you know? Uh, no one ever wants to pause the game to read about it. Oh, baby, pause um, the game right now and talk to me about all the rules. I want to hear oh, about no. taxes again. I, can you tell me the taxes again, Papa? <laughs> oh, baby, let me talk to you about medieval taxes. <laughs> I inspect the chomper. Well, he's looking up a fucking rule, I think. All right, so there's, there's a couple of steps to the combat sequence. First step, the DM determines what the monsters are gonna do before the players say anything. The next step, the players determine what they're gonna do. They give a general indication as to what their characters are planning to do. (coughs) This does not have to be perfectly precise and can be changed somewhat if the DM determines circumstances warrant. If the characters are battling goblins, a player can say, my fighter will attack without having to announce which goblin he will strike. This is in Final Fantasy I. Um, If characters are battling a mixed group of goblins and orcs, the player has to state whether he is attacking goblins or orcs. Spells to be cast must also be announced at this time and cannot be changed once the initiative die is rolled. Before moving on, the DM will make sure he has a clear idea of not only what the player characters are doing, but also what actions any hirelings or henchmen are taking. Once he has a clear view of everything that's going to happen, the DM can overrule any announced action that violates the rules um, or is out of character for NPCs. He's not required to overrule an impossible action, but can let a character attempt it anyway, knowing full well that the character cannot succeed. It is not the DM's position to advise players on the best strategy, most intelligent actions, or optimum maneuvers for their characters. Then we roll initiative, then we resolve everything. Um, so... If you're saying you're defending, you're guarding and raiding an attack, I think technically you should not be able to change that. Your character is spending the round being careful. Um, and I think we just get really loose with the rules, especially when there's like one monster who's almost dead. Okay. But you're right, Renatus. When you say I defend and I, I am holding my position, your character is spending the round defending and holding their position and they shouldn't change it. Okay, fair. Yep, okay. I was into it. Yeah. I'm cool yep. with the with that. Cool with yep, that's how it should go. Um, Instead, anyway. I can just say I'm attacking and then I can do whatever I want. Well, you're going to then be attacking in that situation. You're going to say, I'm attacking. When your turn comes up, you will go and attack. Even if the circumstances have changed, even if like you were charging in with your allies, but now three of them have died, you're still attacking on your turn and you're kind of bound by your initial action because it's not like you're waiting until your turn comes along and then you take everything. Like everything's happening in flow together. So we're going to be, we're going to be very hard with that then, right? Because... If, well, if if we're like fighting a dragon per se, right? And we're all going into attack and then Arrakis and Renatus are immediately breath weaponed and they die. But my initiative is one after. Do I need to still go in and attack even though they're dead? Like I really wouldn't run? That's, that is the question <coughs> that we should answer as a group. The ru- yeah. The core rules say you, whatever you roll in for initiative, you do whether or not circumstances change. And that sort of represents a a realistic flow of battle where you start doing something and then shit gets wonky, but you're already in the middle of doing it and you kind of have to commit. Um, or we can we can be a little bit more flex and sort of, well, the circumstances have changed. It's still sort of the same action. It's fine. Like, I don't normally request that you <sighs> declare whether you're attacking the kobold, the, the goblins or the bugbears. Like, you're attacking whatever's in front of you, right? You're going to fight yeah. the things that are close by. Comment's um, a minute long. I think so, a reasonable cool, change of action would be to like, let's say I declare that I'm going to attack and then like it goes real bad for the people before me. Maybe then I could switch to like, I'm retreating because like, and I'm, but I can only use like so much of my movement speed because some of it, I was like charge again and I went bad and then I'm like, <clears> oh, <throat> okay, never mind. Yeah. So for this, like I was going to stand there and like hold the line, which I thought the other characters were going to do, but then Growl like ran in. So I think like... St- the world changed like quite a bit when he does that that like i would maybe follow after i don't know yeah but i think that if, if you want to give how do we say this uh if you want player organization and working together to be a buff then uh-huh. we should say you stick to your initial actions because that way when people are disorganized then it goes poorly 
But when everyone is well organized, everything goes smoothly, right? Then we're going to um, come think... into a lot more like table talking of like, okay, guys, like this round, like peach out, like don't run across like the fucking open area. Like let's all stick back here. And if, if that's mean, okay, that's sh- okay. I, 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 there shouldn't be a lot of, well, in character, quick barks. Like it could have been. Um, Absolutely. Like, yes, I'm, I'm protecting Arrakis and then growl like charges in, you know? Yes. Yeah. So there's no way for him yeah, to communicate think... that he's charging. Right, there's not time to discuss strategy unless, like, your characters are staying out of combat and discussing strategy for a round, which okay. is totally quick legit. quick barks are, like, fine. Like, if, if like, Grau was a I'm human and he this. was like, I'm going in, boom. Right, but you, you don't get to, like, wait for someone else to respond. Perfect. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. cool. Okay. <clears throat> Moving Basic, forward. Basically, like, I, take I down checked. the orc or do this thing. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Run away. Take down the orc. Like, just like a... Yep. Yeah, yeah. But otherwise, let's stick to our um, declared actions upon initiative roll. Agreed. I check the corpse of the chomper. I want to cut it open as well. I want to inspect it. Yeah, totally. Um, that'll take a while. You can begin to, you know, kneel down, take out your Arrakis, curved we blade. We need to check the rest of the room. This just give me a moment. Why do this later? Come on. We these things just flew out. We don't know if there's more. Okay, I stop. Inspect one your my, things after. You know, does it have blood? Yeah. All right, fine. Let's go. All right. Come on, Grout. Lead the way, if you will. <clears throat> uh, I'll go back and pick up my torch and then follow along. So you're wielding your weapon in... You're just holding your weapon. Hold my weapon, um, torch, and then when I need to, I'll drop it. Got it. Thank you. Where are we going? We're following you. We're clearing out the rest of this area. Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, stop right here, because it's at this moment that there are shrieks and cries. And... Um, Ready attack? Yeah, I got an initiative. Oh. Let's roll initiative. <laughs> That's a lot of initiative rolls, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Uh, we can't see them, though. Um, no, you can't see anything right now. But you can hear the sounds of like mass screeching and flapping of wings. So, National just as teams. we were discussing before, August, you're going to you're going into attack, right? This is a, an aggressive. I'm going to go. I am. Something. I want to move, and I want to ready an attack near the front line. Like I want to move here in front of Arrakis, and I want to ready an attack, and that is very specifically what I'm doing. So when something comes in, I'm going to attack it. But I'm not gonna run after a monster. I'm gonna stay in line with my duders. All right, you're gonna you're gonna move to the front of the party. Yeah. Or you're gonna move to a fr- in front of Arrakis and and then ready uh, and attack. Guard that area. Yeah. That's correct. Perfect. And Growl, what are you doing? Um. It's not my turn. We're 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 standing still. We're chilling, huh? We're waiting. What? No. That. What are you doing? You hear the sound of bats flapping their wings and screeching. I stay with no the party already in attack. Do. All right. Renatus? Uh, I yell out, hold and together, and I will nice, essentially squeeze. Would we take penalties if I were to squeeze up next to... <coughs> yeah. Okay. I'll stand behind him then, carefully. Perfect. And Arrakis? Yep. I'm just, you know, defending from above. I'm All righty. Preparing to attack any monster that comes into my range. Yeah. Perfect. Well, the first of these creatures is going to fly down to this area and then, you know, come across the party looking for the appropriate person to attack, which in this case is the, uh, who's taller, Arrakis or Renatus? Uh, I am 5 foot 11. Renatus was a gigantic beast of a man, but he has a bit of a stoop now. He probably mm. is like 6'3", but he's more mm. like 5'10", like 5'11", six. Five, five, six, depending on how bad his stoop that day is. His back's a little... How about you, then? All right, well, he's going... Apparently, your back is bad right now. The chomper is going for <laughs> Arrakis. Um, but it will, in the process of getting to Arrakis, fly by the others, starting with the bear. You can leap up at this creature with your claws. 17. Hits! For three. 
Not quite killed. Second claw. As you reach up and grab at it, the second claw misses. And that one, like teeth. the fifth of the day for us. And I bite it. Yeah. 21. Oh, yes. We've jump, crit jump a up. lot today. It's been a lot of crit. Oh my god. Yeah, this this chomper doesn't even get to Arrakis. <gasps> it just dies on the spot. The next I one will fly down. Whole. Does the corpse's nice. momentum of the chomper, like, bounce it off Arrakis? It would have, except the bear swallows it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Make me a, a con check. How's the taste? Yeah. Con Each check, other. growl. My apologies. Oh, no. One. You swallow the chomper whole, <laughs> and it gets caught in your throat. We're going to deal with that on the next round, <laughs> but it lodges in your throat. Um, the second chomper doing the same thing. It's coming for Arrakis. So, Renatus, you can make an attack with your arming sword. It comes into your range. I swing. 16. Whoosh. Hit. Hit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Boom. Five damage. Oh, it dies. And nice. this body will tumble yes. flying over your head and landing at the ground behind you. I only get one opportunity attack per, per round, right? Uh, Fighters get multiple. Three plus one fifth your level? No, one plus one fifth your level, and then fighters get an additional two. Yeah, I think so. Um, this yeah. one will come on by and is coming for you again, uh, or for you, Renatus. Now, you have two weapons in your hand. You've got a torch in your offhand? Yes. All right, you can go ahead and make your torch attack at minus two, same as your dagger attack, essentially. What's he getting the attack for? You ready to attack for him? Oh, but it's not his turn, right? It hasn't been my turn yet. Oh. I thought you were giving me an opportunity attack. Yeah. On yeah, the previous was... one, I think he was. On this one... No, on this one, that doesn't make any sense. Yep, never mind. Ignore yeah. that attack. It will bite at you. Perfect. 18 to hit for two points of damage. Um, and when it bites you, it lodges itself on you. Like, it grabs... It bites your chest, like, right above where your armor is, kind of on your collarbone. And then these, like, little tiny feet come out from underneath its, like, rounded head and just grip <coughs> onto your armor and the bat wings sort of like flap on either side of your face, obscuring your vision as it like nom nom noms on your collar. Uh, growl, Mr. Bear, it is your turn. You said you were going to defend this position and there is a chomper eating your yeah. best friend. Well, one of your friends. I'm your best Wait. friend, Growl? <laughs> um, do I go again here? Yeah, because uh, there's opportunity you, attacks. You were doing opportunity attacks. I see. All right. Yeah. Well, fuck this guy. I'm scratching this guy off of his chest with a bear claw. Scratch him. Mm. Miss. Miss. Oh, Miss. Oh, oh, one. Grab him. Make, it a, make that bear claw a, sec a second time, because that's actually attached to Renatus, and I think on a natural one, you might scratch Renatus instead. 13 is just Miss. barely not a hit. So, I'm right, definitely dodging. <laughs> I, I, I bite for it with the other one still stuck in my throat. I can't <laughs> get him Be up. careful. He's coughing. And I miss oh again. God, Dude, the, the spirit of Archie's not with me tonight. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, me and Arrakis swap places. And I will... Um, Ready an attack. I'm not going to attack the one. So you're on dropping my... your torch. Yeah, I'm dropping yeah. my torch, and I will ready an attack. Excellent. For the next one to come in. Your um, turn, buddy. I'm just defending. So. You're just defending. All right. Uh, next up, a whole bunch of these suckers. So this one's dead. This one will flap and flutter. <laughs> this one will flap and flutter. <laughs> Uh, oh, this one will also come this direction. And it'll come right to the back of the bear, sinking its big chomper teeth into Mr. Bear with a 19 plus oh one. Oh my is god, your rolls are stupid. Plus two for back attack is 22. It will critical you for four plus one to six, five points of damage. Jesus. And it will grip you, Mr. Bear. <sighs> grip you on your haunches. Do I get an attack of opportunity there? Because I'm reached too. When he's like, um, 
No, because the bear, it's... it's He's a little bit further it's out. literally yeah. just outside of your reach, yeah. Cool. Um, and then this one will do... Oh, yeah, I don't have any battle music, by the way. Yes. Uh, there should just be cave music. I hear the cave noises. Yeah. I, like I figured this battle would be short, but whatever. Uh, Rhinassus, finally your turn comes around. This creature's got its, like, legs on your little chest. It's got its teeth on your clavicle, and it's beating its wings into your face, just, like, knocking you side to side. Can I make a normal sword attack with my arming sword? Yeah. Swoosh, 12. Hit! When it's attached to you, its AC does not have the dexterity bonuses, and Ooh. you will cut it in pieces, and it'll fall yes. to the ground. And uh, I don't. I don't think I can reach this other one with my dagger, can I? Um, ah. You could move into this square, and you'd be fighting at minus two to hit, and you'd That'd have to use your mine. torch, which is out. Yeah, yeah I'm. I'm I think that coming position. from the other way, run if you want to get behind me. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll squeeze past these guys, I guess, to prepare for the other chomper. Ah, so. Excellent. Let's roll initiative. Um, this one's dead. Uh, I'm going to keep my ready to attack. I don't think I should have to roll into initiative for this one. You no, agree? if you haven't made an attack roll, your attack is still ready. Yeah. Well, but if the, he rolls into yeah. initiative, couldn't he take his ready to attack if something comes in range and then take another mm -hmm. action? No, because it's not like his... If he's continuing to ready his attack, mm -hmm. he just does the same thing. But if he's going to make an action, then he's no longer readying. He's like getting, he's moving into whatever position. Uh, you will, you'll lose your ready to attack if you roll into something else. I think is the way it, it ought to be. But the bonus that I get is that I don't have to wait till my turn to hit my ready to attack. I just have it permanently. Okay. Right. If you continue to ready your attack, you get to strike whatever yeah. comes in within range. If you're going to do something in particular, then you get to move and fight whatever you want. But you don't like if something approaches you, you're delayed. I continue to ready my. Okay. Yeah. I'm preparing to attack whatever comes in range. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, they go so fast. Um, Arrakis, you're rolling initiative with your Chris? Yeah, I'm going to try and kill the one on the back of uh, Ra. Okay. Well, this chomper will fly over near Renatus and try to lodge itself on your breast once more. You've got your... Uh, last round, you had ready to act... No, you had made attacks last round. and you This round, you were getting ready to defend, but... Yes. You roll like shit every time we roll initiative. Um, I and actually so it will have go the first. Worst initiative dice. You roll in tens all day long, buddy. It'll hit you with a 17 for one point of damage and lodge itself on you again. Oh, Brown. God, I don't get in a ready to attack there because he's a little he's, bit. Out. Yeah, he's literally blocking your body too. But yeah. Uh, growl. Right. You were choking. Fuck. You were you're actually choking to death. Um, you rolled into initiative this round. You didn't roll into initiative this round. My bad. What are you doing this round? Uh, I'm, I'm swatting at the fucking thing. Swatting at the thing. Excellent. Okay. Um, you're going to need to dislodge this thing from your throat before too long. Otherwise, you, you might accidentally go. God but I think you can it. go another round. It's probably fine, right? It's probably fine. You're just choking for minutes on end. Uh, this is what I get for trying attacks. to add flavor to the combat. That's right. I'm so sorry, Neil. I will never do it again. Swallow giant thing in one bite? Yeah, there's a little bit of flavor in there. All right, what, what do you want me to do? I want you to make your attack rolls at minus one because you're choking. Fucking goddamn it. Okay. Um, I hate to question funny. this, but how can he attack the thing on his back if he's a bear? Fucking Great question. Throw myself around, try to get it yeah. off, and I fucking could do like that I don't tree, fucking that know. tree rubbing thing on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. it should just take falling damage if he falls on his back. Like just up. Make me your make me your attack rolls. Twenty one oh, yeah. minus one is a twenty. Maybe. You shove yourself against a wall, you rub it to the side, and the thing like falls off of you just enough that you can turn around and slash it into the wall with full bear paw. Um add Ready? another D three to that. Yeah, it's a crit. Mm. Boom. Ooh, another one. and that's just enough to kill it. It splatters. All right, I got. Uh, can I make my way there? No, not between all of your friends. You'd have to go around. Okay. Um, can I now that I've only used one attack, ready the mm -hmm. rest of my attacks? 
No. You can okay. continue into attacking, or you can uh, end your turn here. No, I just end my turn. All right. The next chomper is dead. The following chomper is going to flap, 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 and come up towards Arrakis from behind. Oh, I had to face it. I it's had to him. face it. You do hit it as it comes in. Garp. Yeah. Uh, here you go. Oh, nice. it's a beautiful blow. Or oh. 13. Oh, oh it damage. goes down. It's immediately dead before it can get to Arrakis. I cut it in half. I go, whoosh. don't worry, Arrakis. I got you. Nice. All right. Well, this next one's coming for you, Arrakis. <laughs> Last round, you are, you're still readying your attack from the previous round, yeah? Uh, I was actually going to kill the one on the back of Growl, uh, but I right. think so I you, should you... be able to attack this one instead. Same turn. But you, you, what I'm saying is you don't have a ready to attack. No. Right. So the butt chomper will come. It'll fly. Six to hit is a miss, and your turn comes along. Right. Um... Just a quick stab, right? What is it little... doing? Is it floating in front of me? Is it turning uh, around? No, it's it? fluttering. Like, it's come up to you. It's tried to bite you. You're going at the exact same initiative. And so as it's, like, landing or trying to land on you, you can miss, miss it. it. Misses. Um, and it will flutter towards the ceiling above you, flapping That's around. Provoking an attack of opportunity? Yeah. No, it's, it's there. It's fine. Okay. It hasn't left the area. Renatus, oh, finally your turn comes oh, along. Yeah. There's one, it's trying to attach itself to you. Actually, I think it did attach itself to you and did it one damage. Did. I'm sick of these mother trucking ah, in this mother trucking tomb. I miss. Whoosh. Uh, I attack with Offense. my dagger. Oh, well, it's not a dagger. Whoosh. Oh, it's a torch. Right. Yeah. Initiative. Shoved a fucking torch in his mouth. If it's on him, how can he not? Well, I guess it's moving. All right. It's flapping, it's, like it's clean moving clean his wings. He's trying to yeah. like get at it, but also like he doesn't want to accidentally hit himself in the face, right? True. Um, he's got sharpened so, blades. All you need to do is gently touch yourself, and you'll cut your skins. Can you not roll a ten, Renatus? Can you can you roll anything but a ten on your Listen, initiative? I roll high, okay. Nice. Boom. There's your Boom. seven. Right. <laughs> Finally, right. I oh, rolled right. below a ten. The chomper goes first. It's already lodged on you. It gets a bonus of four to its hit. You didn't when roll it's the other chomper. On yeah, you. you only rolled one chomper. You only rolled one. Oh, I thought the other one was dead, but it is alive. Here we go. Excellent. This first one that's lodged on you will attack you with a plus four on this. Uh, 13 and 4 is 17. It'll hit you for three damage as it begins to gnaw on your actual bone, breaking through the skin, sucking out the marrow from your collar. Jesus. Arrakis, there's one above you fluttering around. Get him, Arrakis! I need my Could marrow. I, I know that Garp or August can hit this one. Could I yeah. use my attack on the one fighting uh, Ren or not? Uh, it would probably provoke an attack of opportunity if you, because you'd have to move over here. Couldn't you just squeeze in? Couldn't do it from here. Uh, you're no, because you're squeezing with him. You both then, no, you you. Okay. Squeezing requires everyone's consent, and it's a mess. Uh, you could squeeze past him and fight, but not squeeze into his square. It's all a mess. Squeezing rules are dumb and hard and to adjudicate. <laughs> not when I'm with your mom. Hit. Then the squeezing rules are very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Three? Three. That'll do it. And down nice. goes the chomper. Um, it does not get in a turn this round, then. Renatus, you're next. I get furiously away. stab at this creature. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Roll me a saving throw versus death. He's or you accidentally. No. <clears throat> no. Maybe not stab, but like a, a slash at your own face or at your body somehow. Absolutely. But you're fine. You're fine. And you got a torch? I torch him. Don't roll a one. Yeah. There you go. You finally hit home. One damage. One damage. Um, the. Yes, one damage. One damage. <laughs> Growl. Get this thing off. <clears throat> oh, I, I oh. will turn my body to my oh. buddies turning wow. this creature. That's Genius. Be more okay. exposed. Fucking golden. <laughs> can I make Get my way through the boys me. now? Ah. Uh, yeah, you can plow your way through the boys. Like plow. you do. And minus one because I'm still choking. <laughs> Are you still choking? <laughs> yeah. He's still choking. Uh, actually, it should be minus two this round because you're choking more. Oh, cool. he's double choking. 
Oh yeah. There you go. That'll do it. You can hit, and I'm pretty certain you can kill. That's it. That's enough. Right. Chomper goes down. Growl I hear is the is over. Breathing. Thank you, I get the, dude. If I, real, if I go into human form right now, will I just die immediately? Yeah, you, you should do. try. I get I down on my I when I realize that. he's choking. I get down on my knees and, Rao, open your mouth. Open your maw. <laughs> sure enough, you can grab the corpse yeah. and yoink well, it back out. My strength check. Let's see how, how officially you. I grab Arrakis' <laughs> arm and help him pull. The Beautiful. bear's throat is well lubricated. We it comes right out. You're weak. <laughs> I've never seen these creatures before, Neil. Correct. Of course not. Well, you're saying they bleed like normal creatures. Yes, yes. They, they are weird, bat-looking things. They've got, like, spherical bodies with wings attached, and the bodies are really just a mouth. And as you, you cut open the creature, um, it does have a fluid that leaks from it. You Is could it call red? that fluid blood. Hmm? Is it red? No, it's more of like a, a grayish ooze. But, it, you know, it's essentially blood, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, right. let's carry on. Do we want to keep searching or we're pretty badly wounded? Maybe we should go back and spend a night for rest. We're close. We can I always can... come back here. We can, can always f... come back. I look, I look down at Ren, into... bleeding I look down me. into the darkness. What's wrong? Sorry. Ren, I, I think we should turn around. I think we should go back. I think We're all really injured. I think we should try to take another day's rest. In the end. close it up. We... I'm gonna do another hearing check. Can I hear any more of these like creatures? Like, mm -hmm. you can tell everyone to shut the fuck up and go ahead and make me a detect noise check. No, fine. I can't hear any more of them. We might be okay to continue, but we are really hurt. Um, I'm making the call here. We need to go back. Let's close this door. We can always come back, and we'll. Venture down here another day. Renatus, or Arrakis, you can take one of these. I'll pick it up. You can study it there. Let's get out of here. Okay. Um, as we're leaving, I cast Detect Magic. I look uh, into the darkness down the corridor. Uh, screen right? Yeah, screen right. Yeah, there's no magic down there. It's fine. Okay. I, just check, I, check, I, I check the corridors on the way back out. <coughs> Well, if that's the case, you are going to find something. As you're walking this way, Arrakis, and you, you look to your left and you go to detect magic this way, mm -hmm. you do receive the signature of strong magic. From the bowl? Well, it's just from this direction. I go and yeah. I walk back over here to check it out. Arrakis, we're leaving. Come on. Give me a moment. I went into human I, I form and out. recovered 50% of my missing HP going to 15. Fucking Renatus, follow me. Or, what, oh, what do I see now? What school is it? I just want to make sure that I understand what's happening. August is leaving. Arrakis is getting closer to the bull. Renatus is coming up to watch Arrakis' back. Well, I'm Rao leaving the way we came. Over here. But I'm like, yeah, I thought we were. Arrakis, yeah. we, could, we could check this tomorrow. It, it's not going anywhere. It's been here hundreds of years. Yes. I know you want to see it, but you're putting us all in danger right now. There is a multi-prismatic color coming from the... Uh, around and the mirror and the bull. August, are you coming back? Sorry, trying to get if, if we're all, if we're, I am going to leave, but if we're all leaving that way, then I'm leaving the way that my party went. Does oh, that no. make sense? Arrakis went this way, and then he went forward. Well, if Arrakis went that way, I followed also. him. So then, yeah, yeah, I'm over here, I'm leaving, I'm opening the door, I'm fucking off. Okay, Neil. Um, yeah, it's, I made a, a, it's a I, I, downward I, I, passage for you. Um, you could pull the door closed behind you on your way out, or you could leave it open. I'm going to leave it open. I'm okay. letting them come with me. So when you say Arrakis. it's multifaceted, am I to believe that that's you know strange, like it's multiple schools or something? Yeah, it's not really following a school of magic. Okay. I, uh, or maybe it's all the schools of magic? I grab, like one of the, I grab one of the, the, bat, the chompers and mm -hmm. pull out the rest of the party. We'll have two then. I have yeah, I'm following as well. I will check for any other magic <clears throat> on these corridors as we pass them, though, Neil. 
Yeah, there's none. Like, I'm, I'm not going down them. I'm just looking into them. I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. The party can back out to the previous chamber. The nice carpeted floor of the tomb. We Where, should oops, close sorry. the door behind us. Yeah. yeah and I think Done. we're safe to rest in here. Yeah, because we can close this both doors. the better spot. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And... Excellent. Yeah. The party can rest. I spend the rest of the day examining these creatures. I'll move the sarcophagus for you so you can have, like, a place to actually examine them. Aren't these, like, little altars here? Like, that would have uh, stuff on them? Benches. Those They're are, like, benches. benches. You could yeah. use that. Yeah. Ren is uncomfortable yeah. with moving the sarcophagus. Are the creatures themselves magical? Like corpses? Nope. <clears throat> Ren, this wasn't even where he was buried. He's buried in there. Point back. Uh... I don't know about that. Still doesn't sit right with me. I don't like disturbing the dead. I don't even like anything to do with the dead. Hell, I don't want to die. All right, we can leave it. I don't think you can deter disturb the things that are dead. Bro says as he pulls fucking chomper hair from his fucking acid burn mouth. How uh, how big was the bowl now? It's like yeah, they got a quick look. 18 inches, two feet across, something like that. You can offer to do a sacrifice him. Sure. Yeah. You know, now that you're thinking about it, <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good sacrificial bull right there. I mean, as long as you're not sacrificing something too large, but. Like a bully will go something, though. What a bully will. I mean, if you were to lay a human across <clears throat> it, it's it would be perfect if you're just going to, like, slit the throat of the person over the bull. Um, yeah think about this whilst expect, inspecting these these things i have I a set up camp i suspect maybe that these things are you know perhaps not from this plane mm. so i would like i would like to investigate with that in mind mm. i'm not sure necessarily how i would mm. uh well Determinist, the good but... wizard in you knows that any sort of proper investigation requires a hell of a lot more time than you're going to be able to do right here, right? You're going to want to go slowly. You're going to want to make notes. Most of the investigation is actually like determining the qualities of things and then dictating them. So it's like feeling the fur, describing the fur, like looking carefully through it. You know, you want to really get down to the... So you can you can begin your investigation. I don't know... If there's anything in particular you're looking to get from it in the short term? No, I'm just, I'm, what's going through his mind is that if these things are from the shadow plane, that there must be a, a you know, a portal down here or a path or something, a way that they got mm. here. So maybe you're trying to determine if they are from the plane of shadow. Yeah. Hmm. Do you, let me see your character sheet, please. As yes. I say, hand me your character sheet. Arcanology, spellcraft, undead lore, animal lore. Give me animal lore. Give me undead lore. Give me arcanology. <laughs> well, this looks like no animal that you're familiar with. It sort of resembles a bat, but it's clearly, very, very clearly not a bat. Um, you can't think of any undead creature that it might be like. <laughs> And your archaeology check does not reveal this creature as any sort of familiar that you're aware of. It doesn't sound like any other creature that's been made by a wizard that you've learned about. Um, you're coming up donut across the board. Okay, fine. I get some sleep. Yes. But that does mean this is a new thing. This is new to you. This is... Yes. This is not some old hat that you've already learned about and, and provides no new source of information. This right here is ripe for study. This is ripe for maybe learning. I mean, if it is from a shadow plane, then this could maybe reveal all sorts of new secrets to you. Not knowing what something is, is, is a valuable thing. In of itself, yes. Yes. Well, why don't we take our break? And when we come back on the other side, we'll see if there's anything left but in this. Before tomb. we go to break, hey, 
We have a new campaign coming out on the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Save or Die, and it'll be uploaded exclusively first for patrons. So if you want to go check it out, it's going to be starting in December. Patreon.com slash Save or Die. Check it out. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. So as you go to rest, it's early in the day, right? You woke up, you came down here. Maybe it's been an hour. Um, as you go to sit down and rest for the rest of your day, you dig through your packs and you realize that, you know, as you're traveling around the countryside, we haven't really been tracking rations, but you keep about two days of food <laughs> on you at a time. And at the end of today, your day, your food's going to run out. So I just want to put us in a position where we understand that you will run out of food today, but you will yeah. be fed today. And then tomorrow you can just go hungry. Go back. Um, or go or, back to town. Yeah, but you won't get back to town until the end of the day. Uh, you can still get back to town without eating all day long. It's just uncomfortable. Um, or if you think that you might be spending more time here, you could go back to town today and gear up with more supplies and then return. I think is we there... should try to clean up what we're yeah, doing right do now. And worst case scenario is we can forage for food. It is a lush area. Uh, we are in the swamp. I'm pretty familiar with the swamp. I could probably scavenge enough food that we won't starve. We might take a few. You've got that swamp survival skill, don't you? Yep. Yeah, that'll let you forage for food yeah. for the whole party. Sweet. So I think oh, we, we take commit to spending though. another. We commit to spending the next day down here. Great. Um, and since torches are limited supply, and I don't remember how many you bought. You're just all going to be sitting down in total darkness, right? Because you're you'll have to douse your torches, so you'll have them for the next day. Yeah, I have two must... torches on me. Yeah, but they don't last eight hours. They last uh... yeah like two hours or something, right? Something like that. I have two yeah, one-pound candles as well. So I guess we do have to just sit here in the dark, which is a little bit. Uh... Yeah, because you can't really investigate that bat in the dark very no. well. I'll light a I, candle here. Have a candle. We could go up to the oh, surface for the day. Yeah, we could oh, do candles. You just have a candle. Yeah, yeah okay. No, we'll do a candle. Candle's good. Yeah, because a one-pound candle will burn for a long time. Yeah, I have two of them. I think <sighs> it, it's like 12 hours of burning time for a one-pound candle. Okay, so I do my investigations by candlelight. Yeah. That works nicely. Um, let's see, so candle duration is based on weight and wick size. We're not using some like little votive candle. You want a thicker wick on one of these things so it casts more light. Uh, but I think on a one pound candle, you can get probably like four days. I'm sorry, two days. Yeah. Ooh. So yeah, it's not a ton of light. It's a little bit of light, but it's enough that, you know, you're not all just plunged into darkness forever. I took one uh, off my character sheet. I'm going to count them as wait. dead. Sure, you burn through it. It'll be fine. So party, you've got a long time to rest down here. Right? You've got to burn your day and then sleep and then wake up again. And Nick has got something to do. He's got this body of this this chomper thing what are the rest of you up to if anything garp's a little pissed off or uh, <clears throat> august is a little pissed off you know we're in this wizard fucking hellhole he's almost died two three times now and arrakis was too busy fucking wondering about some random magic shit to get the fuck out mm. garp's stewing in it mm. renata is yeah. chilling um he's fairly relaxed He's, uh, he's he's licking his wounds. He's a little bit annoyed at the creatures that they've encountered, but so far he's mm. he's deeply uncomfortable with the underground. That's one of the things. Mm. Renatus doesn't like being underground, and he doesn't like being around the dead, uh, whether that's mm. dead dead or like the uh, moving dead. So mm -hmm. it's, he's kind of at ease, and he's just trying to stay calm and collected, be the sort of elder yeah. gentleman of the party that he can be. <clears throat> yeah. What about you, Mr. Bear? How do you feel about this? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like a cave in here. We're chilling. I mean, it's stressful, for sure. Um, but also, it's exciting, you know? 
we're fighting mm-hmm. together and I'm being really useful. I feel like needed. Um mm-hmm. everyone's yeah. being really nice to me. Nobody's treating me like a trained animal. I feel like I'm a part of something for the first time. So I'm 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 pretty excited to see what happens next. Great. Great. Well, we can pass the day then. It's fine. There's a little stewing. There's a little bit of pleasure. There's a little bit of creepiness. There's a little bit of investigations. Um, <clears throat> Nick, I'd like you to make me an intelligence check at minus four, please. Yes, sir. Uh, minus four from this. Fail. Mm, all right. Don't worry about it then. It means nothing. I'm just pulling your leg. The next day will arrive. Party will wake up. Who really knows what the hour is outside, but it's long enough of a rest that you guys can rememorize spells uh, and do all the things you need. Wow, could I get a could I get a heal? Uh, and Grow, in order to heal him, you'll have to shape change. So I need a yeah. D six from you. Let's see. All right, uh, I'm Bear, and I'm going back into Orc. Mm-hmm. Um. Full six nice. five HP. Oh, that's for him. Um, so that's sixty percent off of uh of nine. Well, should be five hit points. Sure. Boom. God, it heals so much. Okay. Um, yeah, that's really broken. Who, wh- wh- which of you do I? Which of you do I help? Help me and Renatus. I look at Arrakis. Yeah, why not? All right, um, August 1st. Yep. For a full eight. Nice. Oh, baby. Needed that. And I did. Renatus for a three. three. I'll take three. Right. Good job. Not yeah, bad. That's good. All right, we're looking a lot healthier now. Okay, I gather Um, once we've all sort of like sat and had something, sorry, woke up and had something to eat, I gather our things and... We had no food this morning. That's right, true. True, yeah. Right, well... We're all hungry and keen to get out of here. Should we carry on? Absolutely. Let's go. I'll go have an arm. <sighs> Strong men together. The door That's can it. be opened. The torch is relit. Shh. Oh, God. Yeah, thank oh God there's God. three God. strong Everyone's... men here. Did we lose someone? Someone's token vanished. Oh, there you are. Okay. Excellent. I'll follow oh, party oh, Rackus, is he leading? My no. suggestion is that we yeah. go right. Yep. I agree. Agreed. Um, I'll relight my torch. Don't put me at the back, please. I will relight my torch also. Go ahead. Would you like to take a point? This way. Renatus, you hold hold the back. I'll go second. Okay. I'm out, batty, batty, bats. Hello. You search down this passageway, and there's row Mm. after row after row. Keep going. Of walls. Um, in between them are just passageways and along their surfaces are inscribed words lots and lots of words most of them are in the common tongue but you'll notice the words in between these stacks are not in the common tongue I check them are they in magic or are they yeah they definitely appear to be written in the language of magic fantastic alright well there's plenty to look at here but let's make sure it's safe first I growl go I push you Nicely. No. <laughs> I gently push the bear. Mm-hmm. Yep. You can get to the end. You can go down. You can circle on back. I'm just going to mass drag you. Yeah. Um, you can stop. Mo- no. No. God. Sorry. <laughs> We're just going to move the whole party together back over here. All right. There you go. You've searched okay. the room. Okay. So we need to work out what this is, and we also need to read that text. So I will now spend a few hours at least reading all of the legible writings around the room here, around the chamber, and also down those corridors. I give you my other candle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I douse my torch and use the kind of carry the candle around to do it. I delete the candle from my candle. Okay. Uh, and everyone else is just going to be walking with you in the light of the candle. Otherwise, they're plunged into darkness. Except for the orc, who's got yep. dark vision, and he's cool. He can chill. 
Is there anywhere? Is there anything to light in here? Are there any like sconces or candelabras? Nope. Not okay. a. Yeah, we follow um, him. While we're waiting yeah. for. And I, and I have a read magic spell nail, so I will attempt to read the. After I've read the well... common language, I will use the read magic to read the other. Okay. What level are you? Three. Okay. That's six, six pages? Six rounds? Six yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Six minutes, but each minute is like two pages or something. Yeah. It's okay. not pages, though, is it? Equivalent pages. So, so well, am I understanding that these are spells and carved on this wall? It's written in the language of magic. Okay, yeah. Well, I'll which find out, I guess. doesn't have to be spells. It could just be regular <clears throat> text that's restricted to wizards only, um, or it could be spells. So, you're starting with the, the other writings. Yes. Um, first is the, the history of the area of the Shadow Plane and, and the people who have been there. The only people who have been there so far that we know of are what we are quoting as the ancients, which, you know, refers to mages during the, usually like the Age of Might. <clears throat> um, or, uh, I got him blanking on the ages of the world. Heroes? Heroes, Might. Magic? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I'm just I'm I, I thought there were more the ages than there were, and there aren't. No, no, no. Usually the ancients refers to the age of might and the age of heroes, um, okay. kind of both interchangeably. Technically, the ancients are more the age of heroes, but like it gets a little wishy washy, you know. Sure. Um, excellent. So no one's been there since those times. Um, the other problem is that a lot of information was lost at the end of the Age of Might. Uh, huge amounts of information were lost. Towers were destroyed, and as soon as it passed out of living memory, it was just gone. So maybe there have been others, but it's not been recorded. The other thing that you are reading about here sort of tracks with something that you know and already, that the Sh Plane of Shadow is more difficult to access than other planes. Technically, it is closer to this plane that we're on, um, so it should be easier to access or need less energy to get to, but the Plane of Shadow is really like an insensitive demi-plane. And so even if it is closer, it's sort of um, less receptive or th there's no energy, there's less energy to draw from it. And so it's a little bit harder to access than other planes. Uh, is he writing section... about it like he's not been to it? Like I might be able to tell from the, the way the sentences are structured. There has been no statement along the lines of when I was in the shadow plane. Yeah. Right? There's been nothing to indicate that he has been there. But he's not um, but is he speaking the, about a, is he speaking about it in a familiar tone? Totally. hundred percent. Um there's some notes on what parts of the plane of shadow are valuable. Uh, and unfortunately, the, the notes tell you that there's pretty much nothing of value on the Plane of Shadow unless it's a, a component for a spell. And any material that comes from the Plane of Shadow is sort of of average or um, lower quality than the same thing that you could find here on the Material Plane. Uh, he's giving particularly the example of wood and saying that wood from the Plane of Shadow appears to be like ordinary um, uh, softwood pine. Is not of remarkable quality or make in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Um, there's a treaty on how the sh plane of shadow could be useful for people from the prime materia plane. The first section is if you can make a portal to the plane of shadow at will, then you could go pretty much anywhere in the world and reappear without problem because the shame plane of shadow mimics and mirrors the real plane, the real world. Uh, you could go to the plane of shadow walk over to another <clears throat> town and then portal yourself back in and then you just be in that other town. You could just walk past dangerous areas with ease. But, you know, that's predicated on being able to summon portals between the two at will. Yeah. Uh, the other good use is a, a trash bin. You could just chuck shit in there that you don't want to keep around anymore. Um, and it's fine. It's not going to pollute anything. No one gives a shit about the Plane of Shadows. In the same vein, if you need to... If there's something that you want gone, but you can't find a way of destroying it, hiding it on the Plane of Shadow, which is hard to access, 
is a great way to get rid of the things that cannot be destroyed. Um, another useful part of the plane is that some types of magic are easier to manipulate there <clears throat> than others. Um, you can sort of pull shadow magic to create like illusions or create quasi real monsters. Um, there's a couple of other types of magic. I'm going to not discuss them with you, but like as a the character, you would understand where they fit in the, the realm of things. These are your shadow spells that we're talking yeah. about here that you can pull. Uh, so it'd be stronger there. <clears throat> Easier to cast in some way. Um, mm, not necessarily there, but like if you want to do this thing, you might want to try and use shadow magic. And shadow magic essentially comes from the plane of shadows. Um, it's it's not useful for the uh, for humans to understand, but for the character to understand. We can yeah. we'll talk more about that at a future point. Okay. The other thing about the plane of shadows is that it is generally like magic quiet and free from disturbances. If you were needing to be like really to investigate um, something magical, and you didn't want there to be any sort of um, like impurities or anything else that might get in the way of it, taking things to the plane of shadow, which is generally like a magic quiet area, would allow a better inspection. Like if you're trying to identify something, you need to normally spend eight hours clearing a room of mm. of disturbances. But on the plane of shadow, there's not very many disturbances there to begin with. So you could probably get away with like half an hour of clearing for an identify spell. But that's just by way of saying that you could... Mm. It, it is less, um, there's less noise, less magical noise happening there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another okay. section in the this zone talks about areas of the plane that have been investigated and shown to be not that useful. Um, travel to other planes from the plane of magic is hard. Uh, so fr from the plane of shadow, like if you want to get to the plane of air or fire or water or or whatever, it's harder to do from the plane of shadow. It doesn't. It doesn't actually lead anywhere. It's sort of like a dead end if you're trying to do plane hopping. Now, the plane of shadow is energy is um, is low in energy density and is generally speaking a poor source of magic. Uh, resource extraction from the plane, as we mentioned a little earlier, is kind of fruitless. You can bring things back from the the shadow plane, but the quality is bland or subpar. Um. And then it talks about some monsters that are encountered there. It talks about chompers. It describes uh, them. These are the things you've just fought. And now here's a section talking about these weird bat-winged creatures. It talks about um, some types of slime. It, it talks about shadowy figures called shadow stalkers. Um, there's a few other monsters listed as well. I'm not going to bother listing them all Does make any out. reference about how they could get into this world, into this plane? No, but you're you're uh, an educated wizard. You you need open portals between realms to travel between them. Wait, so and I'm that's... pretty convinced then the fact that these chompers are here is an indication that there is a portal. Yeah, let's talk about portals. Let's talk about interplanar travel for just a minute. Because the planes of reality are all sort of stacked up on top of each other and just like behind another layer, so to speak. And sometimes those distances can get kind of thin. Um, and the thinner they get, the easier it is to move thing, things from one room to the other. You can almost think of it like um, like gas in a room. Like if a the lasagna. door's closed... It's like a lasagna. No, <laughs> no it's not like a lasagna it's at all. <laughs> And at some points, the noodles got a little <laughs> hole and the sauce leaks through. Yeah, true. No, no. It's like a fart in a room. If you have the door shut, that fart probably isn't going to leave the room. But if the door is open, then the fart can leave the room. Um, but if your door is, like, not a great door and there's a lot of gaps along the edges or your door is actually, like, a cloth door or it's, like, a curtain of beads, then it's easier for that fart to move back and forth. So when people talk about portals, what they really mean is, like, a permanent opening that is completely open between two areas. But you... You don't always need a full-fledged portal for something to move through, depending on the size and the intensity of the, the thing that wants to move between them and uh, on how thick or thin the layers between the planes are at that point. 
some things can come through. You don't always need a full-fledged portal. Is like the Earth elementals of... creep into the plane, the, the real world from time to time. Not necessarily through a portal, but just because there's enough Earth that every now and then something just kind of shifts through onto this side. Go ahead. So am I... Either there's a portal down here, or at least this location is closer to the shadow plane, or the, the borders are thinner here. There's a portal. The borders are thin. This was populated with monsters by Sigrid Shadowhand himself. Mm. Um, something like that. I feel like if he was trying to defend this place, he would use better monsters. Like, they're not much of a guard dog, are they? Also, you wouldn't need to use shadow plane monsters if you wanted to defend this place, right? Yeah. Well, maybe that's easier for him, though. Um, yeah, maybe. Okay, so I'm thinking that there's there's more to be found here. Is there no? There's no mention of this bowl and this thing over here. There is. Ah, um, oh. There is a mention of a sand mirror. This is described as a non-magical or a demi-magical interface to the shadow plane located here within this room, within this very room itself. The 18 inch diameter silvered mirror sits in a box of sand face up. Just above, like in the area right above the mirror is a place where Norl, Sigrus's bud, and he worked to thin the distance between the two planes here using a spell called... I can't remember its name right now, but there's a spell name for it. Um, <clears throat> and this has sort of thinned the, the, the space between planes in this one spot. And so this special mirror, which is not magical necessarily, um, but it's the way that it's crafted and the way that it's positioned... So it's just underneath this thin place between the realms allows you to look down into the mirror and your reflection will be cast back up, but it will pass through the shadow plane well enough that it will function as if you're looking at a mirror on the shadow plane without actually having to travel there. That doesn't mean you can actually access it, but if you wanted to see what something looked like on the shadow plane, that would do it for you. Interesting. So, um, what's the point of the sand? Uh, something, something. The sand is needed on the back of the mirror. Um, it's not clearly explained, but it says Wait, that sorry, the sand is, is, is the sand below the rock, or is the sand missing? <clears throat> um, our our image here is not great. There should be a silvered mirror in this basin, and there should yeah. be sand beneath the silver mirror. Okay. But you know, assets. Okay. I check. I on reading this. I bring one of the corpses of the Chompers and look at it in the mirror. Hmm. You head down into the mirrored section. Yes. While Arrakis is doing his thing... Rao is asking Renatus if he will teach him how to sing a song. I do. Um, but I say, now's not the time, Grau. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think there's strange wizardry stuff <clears throat> happening. Yeah. Arrakis, so as you're bringing one of these chompers over here and the rest of the party is looking on from their positions above, um, the wall before you begins to move. Oh, yeah. um, in the way that like if you're looking at a tree and then all of a sudden you realize that part of that tree was like actually an insect or was like a gecko mm. or a moth and you were like there's an insect there uh, that's the same way this wall begins to move but with an 8 on surprise you are caught uh, actually everyone else please roll me d10 as well you need a you need a 6 or higher not to be surprised nice Ugh. <coughs> you're old. <laughs> you, old he's talking to you about a song. Wow. You're like, a wizardry is <laughs> happening. Wow. Uh, Roll me a D10. Wow. D10. A D10. Yeah, you want a six or higher. Yeah, I, I'm getting a 10 on this one. No, you're not. My They're you singing songs. Talking. You're, you're talking. <laughs> yeah. All right. Those of you that failed, you, you cannot participate this round. Everyone else 
please roll in for initiative because the wall is moving. Um, I don't know what you're going to do about this. It's just a moving wall. Maybe it's not dangerous whatsoever. Uh, what are you doing, Augustus and August, Arrakis? Um, Arrakis, I don't know. what's happening? <laughs> get ready. If, if the wall tries to get Arrakis somehow, I'm going to attack it. That is my... That's what I'm oh, rolling you're in ready, for. You're defending. I'm ready an attack. I'm going to move over to here, okay. too, on my turn. Okay. It's like something coming is coming off the wall, like an insect. Like something is coming off the wall, yeah, but it's your turn before anything happens. You just see the wall <sighs> begin to undulate and move before you. Yeah, I'm going to so jump um, down I here I with instinctively him. cast. Whoa, 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 hold on. One at a time here. One <laughs> at a time. Right, we go at the same time. We go at the same I time. I know, but... I cast Blur, cast. knowing that something's happening and then i you were saying i can't make a full half move or no wait i think we said i can't make a half move so I you can make a half to here uh then i will see where i am I'm actually happy excellent i will also need both of you <coughs> i'm actually gonna need everybody in the party at this moment because everyone now sees this thing as it truly begins to move. I need everyone in the party to make me a saving throw versus spell. Ooh. I pass. Uh, uh, this is. You probably don't want to fail this one. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> the two song singers over there. Oh, what do you do? Oh, what a drinking sailor. What do you do? <laughs> You know, it's actually good then that you failed your initiative if you're confused. Because the two of you are affected by the confusion spell. This spell causes confusion in any creature who's affected by it. Um, these creatures are blah, 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 blah. Uh, on each of your turns, you should roll a d10. And depending on the d10, you're going to do something. On a one, you wander away for the duration of the spell. On a two to a six, you stand confused for one round, and then the next round you roll again. On a seven to a nine, you attack the nearest creature to you for one round, and then roll again. And on a ten, you act normally for the round, and then roll again. So no saving to get out of this, they're just affected by it. Right, right. Uh, excellent. Let's roll initiative for the whole party. All right. Uh, uh, what does Arrakis yell out? Fight! Okay. Alright, well, I'm getting ready to uh, go to a bear and fight like whoops. a bear. You're gonna fight like a bear? Renata's waste roller. the most beautiful attack roll. <laughs> I did. <laughs> God damn it. Unlucky. Renatus is gonna attack with his arming sword. August is going to attack with his glaive. I'm moving Excellent. to attack. Excellent. Um, so actually what I need, I'm sorry, Growl and Renatus, you're affected by this spell. So I need each of you to roll me a D10 to see what you're actually doing this round. Because you are confused by the spots on this thing's wings. I rolled a nine. See, a Fuck. glue wing's shimmering markings make it difficult to target. Any creature viewing the moth squarely from above or below, but it's against the wall, so you are technically above it at the moment as it's blending in. Any creature viewing it from above or below must save versus spells or be confused as the fourth level mage spell for 1d4 plus 4 rounds. The markings provide excellent camouflage, and it is undetectable by a certain percentage in darkness, twilight, or moonlight. When they're camouflaged, their wings will not cause confusion. But when it starts to move, and you can see the swirling patterns on this creature, this denizen of the Plane of Shadows, it confuses the brains. Um, blah, 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 blah. We don't really care about the rest of this. Perfect. A nine from Growl means that Growl will attack the nearest creature. And a six from Renatus means he will stand confused for one round and then roll again. Woo. Uh, so, not, am I turning into a bear? No. No, you won't turn into a bear. You don't have a weapon. You're just going to beat the closest person to you to death with your fists. All right, what do I roll for that? Um, you're already in. On your turn. Yeah, that's not yeah, going to do yeah. You're good. 
Renatus, you stand confused. I am so sorry. Huh? You are confused. What's happening? Whippersnappers! What a... It's so beautiful! What do we do? I am in a... <laughs> August. Jump down and attack the thing at reach two. A ten foot drop. Oh, well then I'm just gonna... You're gonna slide down? Yeah. It's not gonna... that far. You can just block and drop. And then you can I'll block and drop. Yep. Go ahead. Roll the hit. <sighs> 13. Uh... Uh, with a 13, your they have AC 19. <laughs> that is well, but on, uh, what we got on our plane. I'm not sure why <clears throat> a moth would have AC 19. It's on the wrong plane. Either, it's on the wrong plane, too. Either it's, <clears throat> its wings are hardened, or your weapon can pass through the wings without letting you know, break them, but without causing problem to its flight. Um, I think... I think it must have some sort of hardened skin or carapace or its fur, or maybe just its very, uh, its shadowy nature means that it's not entirely solid at all points along its body. And your 13 will whiff through the wings in a spot where you totally expected them to hit. Yeah, then and then I'll, they sort of pass through. I'll throw out a yell. Run. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can't hit this. And I'm going to move back, Boy Boo. Um... Is that okay? Uh, no, you, you run for the attack, right? You're in this for the fight. Well, as I can we, still move. We... I have sure, reached, two for, I have reached two for a reason, though. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can move back to, you know, maximum yeah. fighting range. Uh, Perfect. What? Wait, why? Why can't I use well, my movement? Because remember when we talked, when we talked about you declare your action and that's what you're going to do for the round, your action was to attack. So yeah, but you attack the and then you go back. That's what I've always done in Dungeons and Dragons. If I have like right, range, right? We, we were the the conversation we had earlier was talking about yeah. how we want to proceed with initiative, and you're gonna do the thing that you're gonna do, even if things change. So if you're fighting, you the, go in and you fight the for thing the is, round. If we run, so, we're leaving Ren and well, yeah, um, I'm not running completely. Right behind. In the future, right, well, well, do I need to tell you I'm this, gonna hit it and then I'm gonna run a little bit back? Well, this the, this is the the conversation. This is an important conversation about how we want to manage initiative. Do we want initiative to be like, you are approaching this with your intent and you follow through on that intent, or is initiative going to be a highly micromanaged, it doesn't really matter what you roll for initiative. Like, you attack something, oh my god, it's actually harder to hit than I thought, I run away on the same turn, or is it, I rolled to fight, so I fight for this round, and next round I can realize that it's not going well and I should leave. I'm, again, um, I'm the, not running well, out of the room, I just want to run more back to where my team is. That's like the goal. It's like I get close to get a hit in, yeah. and now I'm retreating to like where my team. Because I think it's I think it'd be crazy if like oh I want to hit something okay now I just need to go hit it and now I stand here for the rest of my turn like an NPC. Right. Well, this this is kind of what I was trying to get at earlier is that if we want to do highly flexible, it doesn't matter what you roll for or it doesn't matter what you intend. I'm going to say I attack, but the situation changes. I don't actually want to fight anymore. Then that we can do that. Well, I but did I attack. That's Wait, the thing you, is I did attack. Did you move to it? Did you move and then attack? Yeah, I yeah, moved to him. I attacked him. I, and then so, I, I want to move back. I think it's reasonable that you can like move and then attack or then attack, then move. But I think it's kind of weird for you to move in, attack, and then move. That feels Why? Kind of That's what it's always me. been. Right, but... We've always played really loosey-goosey with the initiative rules. And then earlier today, there was some confusion about like, well, can I actually do this? I said I was defending and I stuck to my what I said, but you said you were defending and then you attacked on your turn. Well, Does actually, what we declare at the beginning matter or not? And I thought we had agreed that we were just sure, going I, to stick I to our what I, actions. And your, I, attack action, your action is engage the enemy, not retreat, not I fall back and defend with my friends. I did exactly what I said. I said I'm going to go in and attack. I went in and attack, yeah. and now I have my movement speed to use. You, you disagree with that? Right. That's what I'm thinking, uh, is I'm going in, I'm doing what I want, and then now I want to use my movement speed to go away. And I'm saying that that is the same thing as saying that your your declared action doesn't really matter, and you just use your turn for whatever you want to do. Because you're not right. attacking. You're now adjusting your actions based on how they play out, which is totally fine, and that's how we've done it in the past, and we can totally keep doing that. But it does mean that if you say, I'm defending for my turn, and then your turn comes up, and you're like, well, I don't want to defend for my turn. I want to attack. Well, sure, but it does, actually, it does matter a little bit, because 
one second. It does matter a little bit because next turn I will have two attacks. So if I did this, I would lose that second attack because it's not going to be near me, for example, because I'm moving away. Unless it's close to you or unless next round you say, I want to go attack it and then you walk after it and you don't, like, you're not losing anything. And I, to be clear, to be clear, yeah. I don't care which way we play this. I'm happy with any ruling. I just want us to come to a consensus sure. on how we want to manage our actions. And do we say the things that we declare at the start of the round are what we're following or that we can change our action kind of at will? Here's a question. Uh, which is but, a more fun yeah. game to play? That's I think there's a reason I, I chose a reach to weapon and I would like to be able to go and attack someone and then walk back and not take an attack or opportunity because that's what I've chosen and get closer to a party member to be like more strategic rather than just run in and like now I stand where I stand, you know? Fair. For my two cents, I think if he's moving and attacking, he should <laughs> be able to attack and use his movement as he pleases. I don't think so if you're need to moving in to attack there. someone, then you can say, I move into attack and then I walk away. But if you were engaged in them to begin with and you didn't need your movement to get there, then you're stuck. Well, like, engaged like with here's them. an example, right? Like, let's say I'm casting magic missile at a goblin. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. my plan is to magic missile the goblin and then stay in the fight with it. But if my magic missile kills the goblin and then my character wants to reposition based on the fact that that goblin is dead. He didn't know that goblin was going to be dead until he cast the magic missile. Mm -hmm. But he was he was casting and moving in the best way that he could use his movement. And the goblin dying and then the movements afterwards, that, that makes sense chronologically in terms of the order of the turn. So I think you should be able to do that. I think deciding to not attack and retreat is something different. But him moving and but attacking you... and then using his movement differently to how you interpret it, I don't think he ever said he wasn't going to use his movement to back out. Right, but I'm saying I don't see a difference between that and saying that I'm going to hold my position away all of my allies went forward, so I'm just going to go forward too. Well, I, I, says I didn't get a chance to make this before, but I also feel like if my action is to use my attack, like whether that's defending someone or moving up and attacking someone, my action is to, is to attack. Sorry, this no, is actually really okay. important because Neil keeps using it as an example. In the in the rulebook for 2e, I believe it says the guard action. If nobody comes into your range, you can take a half move and attack. So no one attacks a guarding character. She can abort to an attack at the end of the round and take a half move to reach someone. Uh, yeah, I, I sorry that's, that's a, end of round, not on my turn. Yes, yes, right. But there, yeah, no, no. I have a reach to weapon. I feel like I should be able to go, hit someone from afar, and then walk away with my movement. That's my turn. That um, feels funky to that's me. That's fine. If we want to play with what that. I'm cool with that. Sorry. That feels funky I, to I me just, as a player, yeah. because if that's going to be used against mm -hmm. me, I'm going to be mad as fuck. Well, yeah, there's well, advantage But it never will be too. used against you, because Neil doesn't say to us at the start of the round, this goblin's going to move and attack and not reposition. Neil's so probably been doing move, this all along. So I, I think the, the, the action is move and attack, and however you want to use your movement, that's up to you. Yeah, I, like, because if, if this creature comes up to me, and then I want to walk away, it's, I think Potato just lagged out. Uh, <clears throat> if this creature moves up to me, and then I want to walk away, it's going to get an attack of opportunity. The only reason I'm getting to use my movement right now is because I got to it first. Anyway, I think we're, we're slowing things down a little bit more than necessary here. Well, Actually, yeah, this is I just quite wanna... a semantic point. Let's choose a way to rule it right now, and then we can have like a wider discussion offline, I think. So let's rule it that he... Are you okay with that? Well, I just don't think we'll ever have the offline discussion. Okay. True. I just think we should keep, I just think we should keep playing it as we always have, of where you can do whatever okay, you want. Okay, so we're making no changes. You, you, on your turn, you decide what the fuck you're doing, essentially, but you roll in with the weapon speed, the initiative modifier of whatever action it is that you're... Whatever broad action you're taking. Yeah, but if you're like casting a spell and you're like, oh, I don't want to cast that spell, I want to attack with a weapon. No, you're you already rolling in at it. Yeah, yeah. you're already okay. rolling for the spell. This is fine. I'm That's totally fine. happy with this. I just want okay. to make sure we're all on the same page regarding okay. how we play our game. Right, hey, do you want to hear us talk more about this? Tune into the after show, patreon.com slash saver We'll talk a little bit more about it on the after we're show. Probably probably Goblin not. tier. For two hours. Probably yeah, not. Two hours. Show. Show. Special after show today, <laughs> guaranteed by Mr. Moon. Two hour discussion on initiative in Bro. 2E. Be there. <clears throat> go to the Patreon right now and subscribe. Let's uh, let's right. just move, let's move on. Yeah, Mooton, you made your attack, you missed, and you 
I move away. Like, which is my God-given right. <laughs> Given to me by Absol Malchus, the god of humans. <laughs> Excellent. Love it. Love it. Okay. Um, Grau's <coughs> turn. Now, you rolled poorly, Grau. You're going to attack the nearest creature to you, which, uh, that's 10 feet. That's 12 feet. That is Gar- uh, That is, a uh, August. Yeah, I'm gonna so run over to you up. and punch you in the face. But mm -hmm. it's like- Go ahead. And make me uh, a regular old attack roll for you. Any of your attack buttons will do well. Any. Okay. Boom. 14. Thank you. Miss. Uh, 14 is a miss. Excellent. Uh, the gloom wing will flap and flutter, and it will come fluttering in the direction of the big man with the big stick. Of course, it knows Growl can't attack him. It's, he's confused. Yeah. Well. You'd be a shitty monster if you had an innate <laughs> ability to confuse, but you True. couldn't tell when someone was <clears throat> confused. During the second and each successive round of combat, the moth emits a potent pheromone. We're going to ignore this part of it. The weakness has a 25-foot radius effect. So this is the second round of combat. And exposed creatures must successfully save versus poison or lose one point of strength each round they remain in the area of effect. So all of you are going to be within 25 feet of the moth at some point this round. Everybody in the party, make me a saving throw versus poison. This is a nasty Brutal. monster. Yeah. This is grim. Fail, <coughs> fail, pass. Rawr, rawr, rawr. What are we taking? Poison, poison save. Poison save. Poison save. Boom. The top one under saving throws. Easy. Yeah. Do you want me to go down to, Easy. like, just do 15 then? Yeah. Uh, everyone, you can lose one point of str Or not everyone, but... Renatus and August will lose one point of strength this round. Ugh. Um, there will be no more saves. If you failed the, to begin with, you will continue losing one point as long as you're within the area. If you have passed, you're good. You don't need to roll anything more. You're My fine. God. Um, and the Gloomwing will also make its attack because the Pheromone is just a byproduct. And it will claw at you once with a 16 to hit. One. Which will hit you for one point of damage. It'll claw with its second claw, oh, which crit. is a critical hit for two plus two damage for four. And then it will bite you for a 10, which is a miss. And a rackus will go. Oh, fuck's sake. I cast Spartial Hunt. Hmm. Excellent. You make a glowing hand. Excellent. Um... Renatus so. and Growl, roll me a d10 for next round's actions. You're confused, which is no good. <sighs> four. Seven. Growl gets a four. You'll stand confused. Seven is going to be attack the nearest creature. Um, so roll me a d10 plus... Roll me normal weapon initiative, Renatus. All right. All right. Uh, nearest creature roll... that's not him, or is it just nearest creature? Uh, I don't know what you mean. It says, like you said, you'll attack the nearest creature. Is that like yeah. the moth, or is it always an ally? It could be the moth. No, nearest creature. It could be the moth. Oh, okay. Could be an innocent NPC standing nearby. So I was closer to him than he was to the moth. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. <clears throat> uh, did everyone else roll initiative? E no. Uh, oh, August. I didn't. Oh, we are next round. Rackets, um... yeah. Um... I have my spectral right. hand nail. Yes, you may have a spectral hand. Did I not give you one earlier? I thought I, I'm so sorry. I thought I had a character sheet for spectral hand already set up for you. Oh. I, I will, so. I did not. I thought I did, but I lied to myself. I will give you a hand. Although mm. I'm a bit worried about this fight here because I'm not sure we can kill us. Maybe. I mean, yeah, but. Well, I mean, what are we? What are we? What are we really gonna do here? Let's think about that. If we run out, they just die. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Uh, I will give you a better hand another day, Nick. During the after show, I'll make you a better hand. All right, there you go, bud. <clears throat> also, move these dudes out of the way. Excellent. Uh, next up, oh, Renatus, you're starting us off. So. The closest thing to Renatus is Garp. They're the same. Or not Garp, uh, Growl. 
Mm. Absolutely growl. He's you said he's standing uh, in confusion. I I'm gonna need uh, a, I'm gonna need a one d two on that one. Yeah, there. it's a one d two. It's a one d. It's a one d two right. now. On a one, it's growl. On a two, it's the moth. All right, let's see. We need a two. Let's go. Big two. Big two. Big two. <laughs> Get <Aww>. fucked, growl. <laughs> you come up behind growl. Sneak attack. I've always hated. There's an orc bears. in the party. What? Is, where'd this orc come from? Fee, fi, fo. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Six damage. Oh, I got so him, lads. I got him. 13. Oh. Torch. Yes. Plus two for back attack is a 14. You hit An him with the torch one. for one point of damage. Oh, it's great. It's beautiful. <sighs> it's not the cool. the gloom wing will claw at the, the once frog now. Here we man. go. Uh, okay. 19 yeah. to hit for two points of damage. 20 to hit for two points of damage. And finally, the bite comes <sighs> through and it's an eight. It's a wild miss. The gloom wing in... cannot get you this round. I think you August. can even Chris him if you got to No, I don't to. I've been in worse spots, Nick. How long does confusion last, by the way? D4 uh, plus one four D4. rounds. Yes, so minimum your hit. five. God. Miss. You say a minimum of five rounds? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, Arrakis. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I cast Chill Touch, and we'll use it to attack the Gloom Wing from behind with the Spectral Hand. Spectral, we talked about this before. Spectral Hand comes from your position. You do not get to reposition it. Right? It comes from you. If, you, if the person's back is to you, you get back attack. But the Spectral Hand doesn't fly around behind them to attack them from behind. Well, it says it to materialize within the spell range and move as the cast That's desires. That's true. That's fine. If you materialized it behind the moth, then yeah. we're golden. Yes. Yeah. Um, but if the moth then were to like face, you know, turn around to face this direction, the yeah, hand fine. would not then yeah. move. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. We're good. We're good. So uh, my bonus to attack here is affected by the spell. So I get a bonus of... Uh, <clears throat> two? Wait, what is it? Uh, the two, yeah. Perfect. Oh, wait, I'm looking at special harm. Sorry, yeah, it's plus two. And then it's back attack, so it's plus four. Then it's... Yep. Um, and I'm just trying to touch it. I'm not trying to get through its armor, so that gives me some bonus as well. Like its AC nope. should be lower. Nope. That could be. It could be if it was dex-based AC, but I don't think a moth is particularly oh, dexterous. That's a crit. Who gives a shit? You, you 20 it. And you nice. crit on chill touch? You know no. you can't. As a shadow mage, you can't. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm rolling 2d4 for... unless you say no. Well, no. Oh. The rules for spells critting are here, um, but they have to do with how poorly a saving throw has failed, and they're usually not worth the effort. But if you want to do it right now... I want to do no, it. That's fine. No, that's fine. Don't. Nick, okay. come on. He's got the one, fucking book open. One damage. But he loses one point of strength. Uh, excellent, which gives it a penalty of one to hit, I believe, is it's, what... Yep. 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 Minus one to its attack roll. <clears throat> okay. Uh, growl, you stand there confused. Second attack. And second attack from a rack Not a Rackus. Oh, God. <sighs> I'm rolling in to run away. Uh, All right, we, initiative. I, I, I mean, for that. then my character dies. So what would you like? You can tell me on this one. I'll I'm let you choose. You. you should I'm, magic I'm not and then I'm run. Asking. Yeah. Well, my character is going to disengage this turn. All right. That's three. Move it. Yep. All right. Rolling confused. That's right. A D10 from both uh, Renatus and that's Growl. Good. You got a one. Uh, one... Ones and tens are special. One we'll means you will wander <clears throat> away unless prevented for the duration of the spell. Yes. Okay. That's the good um, one. Where we need a uh, growl. Roll growl. me ten. Five. You're confused. Yeah, you're just gonna stand there. Did we damage this thing? Its health bar didn't move. <laughs> I did one damage uh, to it. God. It did move, yeah. I took one point of damage. Jeez. Neil, do you like this? Do you like do you like when this happens? 
when we're in a room with a horrifying monster and you're just like, yeah, you take four points of damage. Look at the smile on his face. He's loving it. Get him, Nick. What? Yeah, I attack him with the, the chill switch again. Excellent. Um, There's no saving throw on chill touch. Is there? Mm, yeah. Saving throw or lose one point of strength. Oh, okay. Make a save for yeah. that. Well, I didn't roll it last time. We're not going to retcon. Just so we know, go ahead and make your attack. <coughs> did it lose the strength, by the way? It, yeah. it, did. it did lose the strength. It has a penalty of one on its attack rolls. Ooh. Um, Arrakis backs up. Or I disengage. Natus. Hold on. It's oh, fucking... it's not my turn. I, thought, I read it wrong. I read it wrong. It's okay. It's okay. No fear. Um, no fear is back you. Where, where do I walk? You will... You wander away unless prevented for the duration of the spell. So, um, old man, you're, you're sundowning. Please, sundown. Oh. Give me your very best impression of a confused old man. Um. <clears throat> this is too real. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Um. Oh. oh, no, I have to... It, the ball is in an hour. I have to, I have to go get ready. It's oh, I'm in I'm in my father's dungeons again. Oh no, oh god, <laughs> where wh what do I do? Where do I go? I think I wander Run. over. Follow me. Are, are you are you my son? Yes, I'm your son. Follow me, <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Paul, I yes. haven't seen you in years. Yes. Paul. Yes, father. We're in great danger. We must leave. <laughs> August, it's your turn. You're... I'll yell, Rao, <laughs> come on! <laughs> and then I run my whole fucking movement, Neil. Anything that I have, uh, I run to the door. You disengage? Yes. And move at one-third your movement rate? Okay. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. What's, what's my movement rate again? Uh, you can 12, so you can go 120 feet, so one-third of that is 40 feet. Um, yeah, you can get up into this hallway a little bit more. Okay. Where is my orc horde? Why am I with these humans? <laughs> I must you go back there. out into the step. <laughs> no, you stand there. <laughs> Contemplate in confusion or around. Um, the gloom wing, this carnivorous creature who's been trapped here without food for ages, will turn its attention to the very, very close and proximate prey. Um, these attacks are at minus one. It'll roll a 10, which is a miss. It'll roll a 20, which is a hit for one. And then it will bite, which is a six for nothing. Uh, can you and, undo um, people's confusion? I don't think so. I don't know what you mean. I have no idea. Like, I don't know if you, like, shake them. Like, you shake something like a sleeping target. Like, if they'll, like, come out of it. Oh, you gotta try, right? You don't know. <sighs> You've never encountered the spell. There's no way to know. Maybe if you just shake them. Maybe if you just splash water on Shake his face, baby. it'll go away. Shake the baby. That's what they said. Arrakis, what do you want to do here? I don't think we can fight this, but we can't leave God behind. Bro. Whoa, what do you want? Initiative rolls is what I want. Decisions. August. August, where are we? August, what's happening? Why am I bleeding? Why are you bleeding? D10, growl. D10. We're, we're getting out of here, Ren. Oh. Come on. Which, which one do I? Which one is it? I don't. I'm. I'm, I'm confused. Just I roll a d10, growl. Okay, there you go. Boom. Thank two. you. That's all Ren, I wanted. I don't think you roll another d10. No. I think you're wandering off. Ren, forever. you're chill. You're, you're wandering. Chill. Oh, I just you're wandered. Leaving. Okay. <sighs> yeah, you're yeah. just wandering and leaving for the rest of the spell. You can just you can walk out of the cave at your own pace. Perfect. You're cool. You're you're actually the only safe person. Yeah. No. I. I I'm sorry. I. If uh, I go back in, I'll die. Arrakis, you won initiative. Yeah, uh, I attack it again with the hand. At range, it's flanking now, so plus three instead of plus four. Oh, oh miss. Renatus, I, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Go ahead. Um, I genuinely don't know how to save. Did you just grab him and pull him out? Wow. You'll take opportunity attacks. Yeah, maybe. Better alive than dead. Me, Lightly chewed upon. I mean, that thing, it's pretty big. I don't think it can go down the narrow corridors that are, like, down this end, right? Yeah, okay. I walk down here, Neil. Wait, how much movement? I've got 60 feet. Yeah. Uh, where's the drawing thing these days? Oh, yeah, right okay. there. Perfect. You can get to him. Okay, I get to here, yeah. Yeah. 
I stay behind the wall so the glam wing can't see me. August. Uh, I see him go that way. Um, I'm gonna follow him. Okay. I don't know how to fight. <clears throat> Grout, uh, you're standing in confusion this round. Where are your orcish horns? Why <clears throat> is the butterfly trying to touch you with its claws? Why does a butterfly have claws? What? What That's are a good you? Question. Wretched creature! I will grill you over an open flame. <laughs> These are appropriate things to say to the giant moth as it will flutter um, about... They kind of have to keep moving, right? It's... No, I think they can flutter. It could try and attack the spectral hunt. um, It has movement type D, so it should only be able to make a pass every few rounds. Now, I think it came up here... It attacked and bit, and I think it must have like landed on the ground here if it's just going to stay and fight in this one region, and that makes sense. <coughs> makes sense. Um, and so it'll just sort of like skitter along the ground over here um, and get to a spot where it can appropriately, like it'll it's just going to perch on this edge uh, and then leap up with its you know front claws and try and grab it, growl. The claw is going to be a 14, will hit you for two points of damage. And a claw is going to be a 12, which will miss you. Actually, an 11, which will miss you. Chill switch saved you, though. And the bite is going to be an 18, which will hit you for four. Um, Rackus. You notice when it's moving, when it's like walking on the ground, this gloomwing does not have great movement speed. It's not very dexterous in the air. So if it flies, it it can only make like a, a swoop back at the same area every couple of rounds, every three or four rounds, something like that. And if it's walking, it can barely move at all. It's got movement speed two on foot. Um, and that is the situation as we roll into initiative. Arrakis, go grab mm-hmm. the go grab the mirror. I'll get Rao. Grab the mirror? Oh, I think it's built into that right now. It sounded like it was just a mirror. You never really got to fully inspect it. I don't Please. know. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not abandoning this place. We need to come up with a plan to kill us and get back down here. So roll Grau. You're d- you rolled a 10 on your initiative, which means you act normally for the round. Go ahead and decide nice. what you want to do. Fucking you going to fight? You going to flee? Um, well, I, I see that everyone else is fucking going. I turn into a bear. <laughs> okay, you're going to bear form, and what action I'll are you going to take when you... book it. Okay. Still roll into initiative. Oh, you did roll into initiative. Wait, That's- sorry, Perfect. are you booking it, or are you disengaging? If you disengage, you go at third speed, but you won't take opportunity attacks. Yeah. Um. Well, wait. My bo- my bear <laughs> transformation is like fucking. It's a half move to half bear move. transform. So if right. I also disengage, so you, could, you could just trot away slowly. Um. It's not your turn yet, but we're just deciding what you will do on your turn, yeah, it, yeah. which is movement. It sounds like. Yeah. Perfect. Um, Arrakis, you win initiative. Go ahead, and you can peer the corner and hand the Gloomwing once more. Yep. Get him, Nick. Hand him. 19. Oh, it's a hit. Let's fucking go. He will save versus spell. Or uh, add a minus two because of prevailing light conditions. Excellent. It's a failure. It'll take nice. four points of damage and lose another point of strength. That's fighting at minus two. Nice. All right, and then I move. Arrakis, do you Excellent. want me to grab the mirror? No, leave it. We'll come back. Renatus can wander out of the cave. Hello. Uh, Hello. The Gloomwing rolls killer on initiative, and even though you're about to transform and flee, the Gloomwing gets the drop on you. It's big fluttering wings, shimmering, confusing all who might Uh, dare gaze upon it, will take one of its little D3 claws and swipe at you. Minus Uh, two. Minus two. So this is a 12. Is a miss. Nice. Minus two. uh, We'll hit you for three points of damage. Oh, come on. bite. The bite, Ah, which is a 13, will just barely graze you for enough damage. You will collapse. On the stairs. Back. <clears throat> no, no, only high ground bonus for the attacker. No penalties for the defender. No bonuses for the defender. Low light conditions. Um, no. What's his HP at? It's from he the plane of shadow. We need, we need actual HP. So minus That's five. true. He was uh, at he's gonna three, die. so he's at minus five. 
Oh, uh, maybe not. Someone's gonna need to stabilize, stabilize okay. the bear. My turn. Unfortunately, Growl loses his turn. August. I drop my glaive. I pull out my bow. I'm gonna peer okay. around and take a shot. Okay. <sighs> Sixteen to miss. Whoosh. Uh, I'm going to kite back. <laughs> I mean, like, you know me. All right. Now the bear. The bear is very low. Are we abandoning the bear to its death? Is I that what really we're doing? Do that. I, I really. But don't... one person's confused and cannot control himself. I cannot Although, pull the bear just out. Like I, I can't move a bear. I'm pretty sure. Did he wait? Did he flop back into bear form, or does he stay? Yes. Oh yes. God. Okay. I mean, I've got maybe a plan. The next round. I'm down to 19 arrows. <clears throat> uh, initiative nil. Yeah, I'm just doing math in my head. How many rounds that I've done? Yeah. It's been like five, right? This, the last round was the fourth round. Oh, this is the soonest that I could wake this up. This is the fifth round. Yes. <sighs> um, so you're you going to be confused this round as well. Did he get confused on the round that me and August acted alone? Or did he get confused on the I round? I did, actually. Alone? You got confused the round on the round that, that we acted, acted alone, alone, actually. Yeah, I got confused on the surprise round. Then this is the fifth round already. This is the fifth round that we've just done. It's about to be the sixth. This is the yeah. fifth round that we've done? Yeah, because yes. I cast Blur, then I cast Spectral Hand, then I cast Chill Touch, and I've attacked with it three times, so that's five. Oh, okay, so this this upcoming round is round six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Renatus, you can act normally. Please roll into initiative as you please. <laughs> oh, God, okay. <laughs> Where's my son? <laughs> Unless you wanted to roll the d4, I rolled it in secret because you're not supposed to know how many rounds you're supposed to be confused. Listen, um, so I'm taking it. I'm charging. I just back know that you there. don't trust me to roll behind the screen, For honestly. Real. And you know, maybe you would want to roll it yourself. You know what? I'm gonna trust you, but we'll see what the roll does. Just for fun. Yeah, I'm gonna take your roll. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um. Initiative, yeah, we're just doing regular initiative across the board, and we just pray Grau doesn't die. Yeah, uh, yellow. I'm gonna be like, I, I'm gonna be like moving and like shooting my bow, Neil. I'm kiting this motherfucker. Okay, so that's one attack per round with your bow, then. Yep. Hey, Rockets, what's happening? Uh... <coughs> Grau's dying. Grau is trapped. <laughs> okay. He's down. Arrakis, uh... you're the first one to go. No, I think I know the answer. So I can't cast a spell and cause the spectral hand to attack, can I? No. No, no. What I will do is, and this is a long shot, um, I cast Moon Glow on the back wall over here. On as large of an area as I can, in the hope that the light will distract the, uh, the moth. It's a fucking moth. <laughs> moth to the flame! <laughs> You're a genius, Nick. The 10 foot <laughs> radius of light <clears throat> centered on the back wall over there. Well, there's also these bright torches. You're holding a torch, Renatus is holding a torch. Sure. There's a torch dropped over here. Like there are bright sources of light already out and in play. Mm -hmm. But they're like much further away. That's true. Okay, you cast um, moon moon runes. Moon, moon, glow. moon oh, shot. Oh, oh, moon wait, glow. it's only thirty yeah, foot yeah. range. Sorry. Oh, well, that's so too I far. I cast it on this wall over here, though. Okay. Which would be this spot. Sure. Yeah. I can't see All right. The darkness, but... Perfect. Uh, Arrakis, Renatus, um, your senses come to you. The days, the new day is upon you. I move into the room. I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna cut. I figure I can reach basically anywhere. So I look. Absolutely. And I see. I'm just like looking down. What can I see? <clears throat> I don't see. Is it eating the bear? It's eating the bear. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna risk my life to save a bear. I'm gonna run straight at the thing and attack it. Get off him, you, you fiend! Um, it is sort of perched on the edge here, so I will give you high ground and back attack. Plus three to hit. Shoof, nine. <laughs> Does not matter, honestly. Offhand. Oh, 
completely hey, does not matter. You are rolling like absolute shit. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, when I, I'm eating up all the bad rolls, you guys are going to get the good ones. That's how this works. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, August, it is your turn. Um. Yeah, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do a... I'm between two things, and I'm pretty sure I can't do this. I can't drop my bow, pick up the sword, pick up the fucking glaive, and then attack it with the glaive. That can't happen. Yeah? Uh, you could drop you the drop bow. Your bow. Yeah, you could drop the bow and pick up the weapon, but I thought you rolled into initiative with your bow, so I you're did. sticking with your bow for the round. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm near my glaive Next anyways. Round. My glaive, we mm-hmm. should probably mark it. It is over here in this area. Mm-hmm. It. Perfect. Um, here's the bow attack. Uh, yeah, it's a miss. <sighs> Classic. I'm gonna wait, move get, back around get, the corner. Wait, you get two shots with the bow, so you should have got a second shot. Not if round. he moves and shoots. Which I had to move. Doing. I had to move over here. Yeah. All right. Misses all around. Um, the gloom wing. Hmm. Well, um, you didn't hit it, did you, Renatus? I didn't. But I did yell. I did, yeah. And I'm Excellent. waving fire at it. Excellent. So what you can see, because you're right next to it and you're waving fire at it, what you can see is that the moth, actually this will probably provoke an attack of opportunity because it crawls onto the bear. Go ahead and make a, an attack of opportunity. Absolutely. Give me the 20. That's true. Oh. 18. Right. That'll hit. Plus. Oh, yeah. Back attack. Yeah, he's got back attack. High ground. Seven damage. Nice. nice. Oh, my God. We needed that. Uh, yes. Seven. Die, you cur. Torch. Attack. That's a miss. Fuck miss. It. I follow it. Right. So it provokes the attack of opportunity, but then you can see as it crawls onto its bear, its hind end sort of like begins to curl and it starts doing these contracting motions. Oh, and you see the out of its thorax. <clears throat> come these like gooey things that it begins to place inside the wounds of no. the bear. I've oh seen this on It's laying its Wait, eggs in the when wounded and dying bear. When it's going up like that, does it look less armored? Um, no, because it's it's still the backside. No, yeah, there's no there's no exposed weaknesses here. Make sure. Uh, initiative. initiative. Uh, I assume with this. Surely there's a weak spot, Copium. <laughs> Surely. We just need a couple more good hits. And... Do you need me to roll in for fucking bleeding? Uh, you yes, you bleed at the end of each round. Yeah, I forgot to bleed in. you last round. Roll me just a D10 plus three for when you bleed this round. Mm. I know, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Growl, you're no oh, longer river. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, we were right. Oh, that was just the, it's just the normal initiative move button, right? I could have rolled on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll do yeah, it next yeah. round. Oh, uh, August, you're first. You can grab on, that mate. glaive. Come on, mates. Come on. I pick up the glaive. I come out. Did the gloom fucking wing turn to face its attacker? No, it's it's currently facing you head on. <sighs> Which just, just move, yeah. use a movement to get around it. Uh, I mean, are you really allowed to do that, Nick? I don't know. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I, Koiber, I know. I'm not going to do that. I think it's better Wait, than why bonus. not? Because usually not, an because... enemy would turn. No, well, a usual enemy would just turn to face you, but this thing can't turn. This thing can't turn, is what you're telling me? No, because it's it's holding on to the bear. He can turn. He can let go of the bear and turn next round. Well, he, yeah. He my my thing is, is I I think if I turn, he's just going to turn with me, which is going to make it that we don't get any opportunity attacks. Okay. That that's where I'm at. I I'm sorry. Here's my attack. I've it reached two. Arrakis. Uh, yeah, I pop my head back around the corner and attack it with the hand. <clears throat> uh, this You're saying is, uh... that there's no there's no moving this to the back attack here, no? No. The hand goes towards the target directly with no calculating. This doesn't make a difference anyway. It's fine. Um, we got him, Nick. Renatus and the Gloomwing at the same time. Renatus, make your attacks. I oh, big rolls. stab this thing. Come on. Huge rolls. Huge <laughs> rolls. 18. Yes. That's a hit. Yes. All right. Give me an eight. Super give me an eight. Attack is a... oh. No. Oh, no. 
Okay, <laughs> offhand dagger, not 20. 16. That's a hit. 16 plus, plus 2 for back attack Ooh. is 18. 1 for high ground is 19 is a go. hit. Oh, oh my god. Oh, you keep better. rolling once. No. Stop it. <laughs> the gloom wing begins to crawl towards. Oh my god. Of fucking August. course he does. Back attack. Uh, opportunity attack from Renatus and the hand. Give me that. Like, yeah. Hand, does the hand, hand get no. opportunity attacks? Well, I don't know. Does it? Why well, wouldn't no. it? Probably I don't not. think so. Because anytime he's moving, weapon. it's an opportunity attack. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, well, hang, you on. Don't get, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You don't on. get pummeling opportunity attacks. No. But a bear that doesn't wield a weapon gets an opportunity attack because its natural attack form is its claws. This is literally a natural a hand. attack form for a person is its hands. This has always been a problem. The the magic hand does not get an opportunity of attacks. No. Nope. This guy really went for me. I thought he was gonna turn around at the guy fucking stabbing his oh, ass. Sorry, buddy. All right. Get okay. the opportunity uh, attacks in there. Let's go. Come on. He. Hey we need a. 17, that's a plus it's a two. Hit. That's another one. That's another hit. Plus Come two, on. uh, three, three. It's going to be a big one. 19. Five. Oh. Oh, all right. Oh my all right, gosh, right, right. the Come bear. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm, oh. I'm trying. You're trying your hardest. I'm trying. Oh, my God. How many? It's at minus two to hit. Minus two to mm. hit. Yeah. Claw. That's a 20 down to 18 is a hit. Uh, and it'll do enough damage to render you unconscious, which is where it will sit because it always needs more food. Um, and then it will turn. It can go. It can spend the rest of its turn moving towards Renatus. And I think it can get its claw against well, you, Renatus. Well, I can't it though, because it's got a slow movement speed. And it's hard to do a it's 180 very turns. slow. It on does. The ground. It can move 10 feet in a round. And so it yeah. moved five, so, but, and then it moves five. Yeah, but it's also 10. rotated 360 degrees. That's got to take some of its movement. It's got to take some movement for him to move his fucking arm. I feel like that's shit. not even this That's is, not even like a This is a exactly why. All right. All right. You're right. It's, it's yeah. slow to <sighs> turn. It's like playing yeah. Dota. You actually have a turning radius yeah. and speed. This Fine. is exactly why I wanted to Fine. say you move and attack, or attack and move. Is it moved, attacked, and then moved? Yeah. All right. Uh, that's the end of the Gloomwing's turn. Yeah, initiative. Top of the order. Oh, Bear bleeds a point. Right, right. Bear is bleeding. Bear is close to dying. It's going to be game over for the bear any moment now. So It's my last round for Chill Switch. At this point, Renatus has heard August go down. Yeah. Uh, Renatus lives to try to guide August to the path that he needs to get to. <laughs> so I'm fighting this mark. I'm out. all in. I I, yeah. I cannot leave. I cannot leave my nephew to his death. Um, and so... We just need one more big roll, mate. We just need one more. I can't believe I rolled so bad. A Good. Six. Nice. You hear me go down. <sighs> You're first. Actually, I, I'm first, well, and I'll bleed. Growl bleeds first, yes. <laughs> God. Um, oh my God, he's close. We need to kill it soon. I take Wait, on I a parrying oh, stance. Oh, oh, okay. oh, you don't have a plus this. two anymore. No, it's just the frontal attack. One. Is there anywhere on this moth that looks more vulnerable? Oh, by the way, I, I forgot to say this, but I've dropped my torch and I have my dagger out. Yeah. Perfect. Just 120, mate, and it's over. All right, give me it. Nothing. Ugh. Right. Dagger. Dagger crit. 16, 16. If you have a high ground, is still not good enough. Not good enough. <laughs> August bleeds. Arrakis. I don't bleed. I'm at zero. Oh, perfect. Okay. I attack with the hand again. This is its last round. Arrakis, I need you to get on the other side Nick, of it. please. Okay. Just get a good roll. Fuck. It's okay. All right. Do you use any of your movement, Nick? Yeah, I come around. Uh, it is... Yeah, Bloomwing's actions this round are dependent on whether or not it passes its morale check. Um, it is at less than a half HP. It will... It is fighting it a spellcaster. 15 or less it rolls I'm sorry it needs to roll less than it's okay it I needs know, to I roll less know. than a 5 a 9 no it needs, blah, 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 blah. it needs a 5 or less and it rolls a 15 oh. so it will do the gloomwing thing 
and it's just going to flap back over to a wall and camouflage in um, like a moth might do to escape. Because it's basically dead, and it's already <laughs> laid its eggs. It's done for the day. Um, and it's going to fly towards the, the top of the ceiling in this pot right here, way up, all the way against the ceiling. Um, and it's just going to re-camouflage itself. Make a mental I, note, Nick. I, I Stabilize yeah, the I bear. Try to like get the eggs out of it. Yeah. And here on stabilize. You want an in check? Um Animal handling. <laughs> I will just say I don't know how we're gonna get him back up. Like the the rolling rules, we need we need someone to heal him. We have to yeah. we just need to get him to town and they'll have a clever. It went. Oh, not sure. I can get a bear to town this quickly. Well, Arrakis, um, I think you don't like the eggs are not small. These aren't like salmon row, right? They're you know maybe um, pebble yeah. size. So, give me a perception check at advantage. Maybe one gets lost in the good blood and gore. Uh, wow, you you yeah, you've really watched that one. Um, you can get all the you get all the eggs out, and you can patch up the bear. I probably should have rolled that in secret, huh? Yeah. Mm. We do the same to August as well. <clears throat> Jesus fucking Christ. You can just boys. do me. Yeah. I didn't get egged. Yeah, yeah. And we drag them out of the room into the other chamber. Sure. Yeah, you I can, can drag them out. I can make some memory where the moth is. Is it there, Neil? Yeah. On the roof. Probably. I mean, there's no way of knowing whether it moves or not, right? Yeah. It could okay. easily reposition itself at any moment. Um, you can drag everyone out, but as everyone mentioned... We've got some serious timing issues. This bear is so close to dead. If you don't get him a healer in the next 24 hours, there's a high likelihood that he dies on the spot. The, what kind of healer do you mean? Like a... <laughs> like fucking uh, magic. A, like a proficient like a doctor. Healer? Yeah, a doctor, um, someone with a healing proficiency would prevent him from failing, but not necessarily help him... Re he would gain okay. one HP in the hands of a doctor. So um, A cleric once... would actually magically heal him. Once we get back into this chamber, I turn to Ren and say, um, Grau's seriously wounded. I don't think we can drag him back to town. I could I think you need to, you're gonna need to go and get someone and I'm gonna stay here. I could get a horse. Uh or I could go to town, I could get a horse, I have gold. I could get a doctor or a cleric or a healer or someone. You'll have to pay because they'll be reluctant to come out here, but it's the only way we'll save him. Okay. I, I hand you my, my gold purse. Yeah, I take your gold. How much gold is in it? 43 gold and 9 silver. Mm, that might be enough. I'm going to make someone a rich man for healing this fucking bear. All right. Um, now, Renathis, you close the door? You're running back to town by yourself? Yeah, I close the door. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Before You're hungry. you got to move quickly. <laughs> when I get outside, you know, you... I'm going to kneel on the ground, and I'm going to pray to Nadinus, and I'm going to say, you're... Needs your aid, please. And I'll make a penis. And I'll like, I'll show the bear in pain and damage, and he's hurt. I'm just like, I'm beseeching the gods to aid me on my journey. Um, and then mm -hmm. I'll make my way. Uh, hello, can you hear me? We yeah. Can, we um, um yeah well, so think... while i'm back in there then mm -hmm. my main concern will be making sure that um august wakes up and i keep the doors closed both back to the moth and the and the the door to the rest of the chamber and i'm just tending to make sure that august is going to wake up um, mm -hmm. and i consider how we can <clears throat> deal with this moth because i need to get okay. back in that room yeah, well, that's the problem. You might have been able to escape the moth's wrath by wounding it badly enough, but now it's probably just going to heal in there, and who knows what the healing rate of such a creature is. You're still going to have to contend with it in the near future. Um, however, Renatus, you've made your prayers to Nadinus. How are you going to... Tell me, describe to me your actions. Um, 
So I say the prayer to the Dean, I say the child in the forest needs your aid, I think of the bear, I do all that. And then I look at the movement rules in the player and tactics and I move at maximum speed, taking fatigue penalties. Excellent. You're going to be running through the wilderness. I need you to roll me a D100 because there might be things in these woods. Oh, no. There might be <laughs> dangers. I'm going to roll a one right here. 90. Oh, no. You're lucky. <laughs> you, it, There are things that notice you, but with a 90, by the time they notice you and consider their options, you're gone. You are gone. Nice. Now, you can get to the village of Wickish. It's a day away when you're moving as a group and watching your ground and keeping an eye out for monsters. But when you're an old man who's uh, essentially whose son is dying in a dungeon, I have left you've got that. all of my possessions behind with the exception of gold. I don't yeah. have a weapon. I'm running. No weapons. <clears throat> no, because they'd slow me down. Oh, God. Yeah. They would slow you down. You can get to Wickish in a half day. In six hours-ish, maybe six and a half hours. You've got no food to slow you down either. No water skins by your side. Yep. And you can burst into the small little village. And I, I'm basically, um, I'm shouting, help, help. I need a horse. I need potions. I need a healer. I need a cleric. I need anything. Quickly. Yeah. I, People will gather around you and to see what's up. Uh, I'll, I'll Very quickly, I'll explain. My friend is wounded and we can't move him. I need a doctor or a cleric. Um, and a horse. We need to save him. I will pay for this. Please, there's not much time. Okay, I'm gonna have you roll me a d100. You want high as possible <laughs> to see if there's a cleric in town. No, he just rolled a 90. Oof. There's no cleric <clears throat> in town. Any but potions every of healing? Town... Ooh, roll me another d100. Ugh. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely we don't have to do the potion this. enema this time. Thank God. Yeah. That would never work. No <laughs> potion enemas, please. Um, doctors, medics, someone who is a trained healer in some shape or form. Give me another D100. I'm rolling bad today, lads. It's just, it's just a bad You're day. You're rolling for badly today. 40 is good enough for a doctor, surely. It's fine. We don't need a doctor. We need a veterinarian. <laughs> we need a vet. <laughs> True. <laughs> right, do a vet roll. <laughs> well, I need to look up the rules for how many doctors there are, but go ahead and give me a veterinarian roll, a highly specialized thing that is unlikely to exist anywhere. The <laughs> 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 one's a critical success. You try There's to a get person it. who says he's a vet, but he absolutely is not. <laughs> Don't I have animal uh, handling skills? I guess that wouldn't give me healing, would it? No. No, I've got animal training and animal handling. Hey. Okay. <sighs> HL's next character. I hate moths. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got animal handling and animal law. Does that give me any chance of improving his possibility at recovery? No. I'm not saying I can None heal of it. these things are healing related. Sorry, buddy. Ha! Huh. I'm not your buddy. I like oh, your hair today, Nick. Thanks, babe. Very nice. Doctor, no, medic, healer. I understand. I <laughs> have that effect on people. You gotta say that or make it the wrong idea. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Fishman. Okay. Don't kill our bear, Neil. Don't kill our bear. Well, I bear. think you all know that I just want the game to follow the rules and be fun, and I have no problems with any number of player characters dying. He wants to kill the bear, everybody. That's what he said. That's what he meant. I like get the bear. a certain amount of shit online if I don't keep my player characters dying at a frequent pace, so I'm deeply <laughs> incentivized to make sure that they all die. But that has to be balanced out by the, the fun and the, the lawfulness of the game. I would never go out of my way to kill a character. Um, no idea what the percentage chance of having a medic on hand, a doctor on hand would be. I will say with a 40, you're going to get someone who is a partially trained medic or doctor. Like, uh, you'll get, um, what do you call it? A, a midwife will be clearly on hand. 
every town's gonna have dozens of midwives, <clears throat> maybe not dozens, but plenty of midwives, um, or people who are, you know, sort of healers, but not like well-trained healers. You can She's find like one a of local these fine healer. folk. Yeah, you know, yeah. She's like, drink this mud and herb mix that I made and face north, you know, and sleep on your belly. And maybe some of that stuff is accurate. And she'll, you know, take care of you as well as you can, but she's not gonna have, like, I have a sewing kit and a medical proficiency and I know what a, a liver enzyme looks like, right? Yeah. Um, You'll find this woman. You'll find this, this older woman. Um, she's 65 if she's a day. And I say to her, listen, my friend needs your help. Um, he's dying. He's bleeding out. Could you at least... Well, bring stop? him to my hut, young man. I can't bring him here. I need to bring you to him. I'll get us a horse. Where is he? he he's into the swamp a bit. Not too far. Into the swamp? That's madness. No one goes into the swamp. I go well, into the swamp. Not too far, at least. I live in the swamp. And look what's happened. Oh well, yeah, it's Live dangerous. We're, yeah, I'm a, and I kind of like, I kind of like do this kind of like I look down at myself like covered in swamp muck, and like, my skin is like stained green, and I'm like, I, I live there. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll do it, but it's going to be expensive. This is dangerous. She wants um, twenty gold for it. She knows she's got you over a barrel. You're a stranger. Done. A weird man dragging her into the swamp. Done? Done. Okay. Don't even haggle. I'm like, done. Uh, All right. I... Well, I think with your urgency and your, your your willingness and your money, she will also help you borrow a neighbor's horse for another 10 gold. Horse? Food. I'm like, 10 gold crazy. Horse costs 75. Five gold for the horse. Another five gold for food and water. Done. You can gather a bag of food nice. and water. You can put it on the horse. You and the old woman can gallop back through the swamp. Now that encounter check is for your day of travel. So you rolled a 90. We don't have to make a second check on your way back. You will get back to the, the ruined temple late. Um, now there's enough light. There's still some candles down in there. There's still some maybe spare torches. You could probably have picked up a spare torch or two in town if you needed. Um, but you're going to have to show this woman the tomb of Sigrid's shadow hand. She's going to have to see it with her own eyes and venture into it. Its location will not be able to be kept secret from her. If you venture in here with her. Well, she doesn't know about the hidden area, does she? That's where nope. we are. Oh, no, it's not. Yes, yeah, so no, we're you, not. You pulled us into yeah, the yeah. tomb area. So we can and we locked us. Good. We had to close yeah. it. Okay. All right. And she sees well, all the bully ones, right? Woman. Oh, yeah. She'll see the piles of bellywugs. And I'll explain to her. And she'll see. We got into combat. Of course. She's fine with the dead bellywugs. Doesn't even care. But when you get back down. And it's about. Into the dungeon. And she sees your friends. She immediately makes for August. Oh, this poor man is so grievously wounded. Oh, what could have done such terror? A bear? A bear clearly made these marks. No, I need you. The, the bear is a trained companion. I need you to heal the bear. To patch its well, wounds. It wasn't the bear that did this. The bear is our friend. He, he's a trained bear. I'm sorry. You heard me through the evening, through the day. On the back of a horse, and deep into the swamp, underground, filled with bullywugs. This bear is priceless. For a performing bear. No, no, no. Old is gold. <laughs> this is friend. a combat bear. Let me ask you this, she lady. Looks... Would you like to pay five gold a month to have a human soldier? Or would you like to pay ten pounds of meat a day to have a bear fighting at your side? That's what this guy does for us. Now, I need you to get down on your hands and knees and try to keep him alive. That's what I brought you here for. I'll do it. I'm just not familiar with bear physiology, she says. As she, she looks at it and pokes at it just and looks inside it, and smells it. Just stop the I bleeding. Say, uh, there may be something in the wound there. Have a look around. You know, what she do you mean? Get, like... Like I think it might be infected or something, or maybe there's some eggs in there. Just please. do you do you know what? Do you know what you're okay. talking about? Why would there be eggs inside of a bear? Bears don't lay eggs, young man. Why don't you stand back? 
let a true professional handle this. <coughs> I just say that, you know. It's it's enough mm -hmm. for me to have said it. She'll she'll notice the missing egg and she'll get out. Totally. Yeah, now you can blame the DM for anything that goes wrong. Mm -hmm. You have you've successfully cast uh absolved responsibility. <laughs> you know. Yes. Would those it's eggs be spell. worth anything? I know it's the bear's dying and all, but I'm just... Oh, those eggs are probably worth a ton. Those tenebrious worms? I only those are people fucking, like me. Those are moth eggs from the shadow plane. We can train this bitch to be our fucking moth. I don't know about that, but... It's got one intelligence, so... I don't you saved the one. fucking bear! Save the bear, yeah. <laughs> is the bear saved? I don't think it's guaranteed, is it? <laughs> no, that bear is dying. <laughs> the bear is. The bear could be dead. My no, man brought back healing... a random fuck. Oh, I don't play D. <laughs> the healing proficiency is automatic. She has 15, actually, in the relevant stat. Oh, nice. Um, so I think since it's a bear, I'm going to require a little check over here. Um, Let's see. Oh, I should have I... probably rolled it publicly. I have here, animal here it is in Okay, so Discord. I can assist her in, uh, you know, giving her the tips she needs to adjust her medicine technique. To a she bats you yeah. away. Uh, you brought a healer out here for me to, because you were incompetent or incapable. But I know about that. Stand bats. back. I am Stand back, by, young man. I am, I am standing flesh back. Flesh is flesh. The body craves what it wants. Um, <laughs> and she will wash out the bear's wounds. <laughs> she will. She does have a needle and thread for this, but, you know, and her stitching technique is immaculate. Um, but she doesn't understand the liver enzymes pouring out of the bear's side. Yet, she will be able to tend to its health. She patches it up well enough that the bear will not immediately bleed to death tomorrow. Um, but she's going to tell you that the bear will need probably like a, a cleric would actually save its life. Or it's going to need to be brought out of the dungeon and to the town for proper healing. Uh, otherwise, you know, you're going to have to bring... You have to do multiple trips for supplies and whatnot, and it it's gonna need water and it's gonna need food. This bear might take a week or more to come back to life. You really could use a cleric. Have I woken up by now? That would happen tomorrow, mm, I think. Yes. I just don't remember how long it takes. In Some second. number of hours. It can be nowish. You can. Okay. So he's on not like health, isn't he? Or he's on, on zero. zero. He's at zero. Oh, you're on yeah. zero. Yes. Uh, you can gurgle from the sidelines. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Are, is the town really going to be accepting of our of our circus bear? I asked the lady. What do you mean accepting? More, gonna... more importantly, is there a cleric that comes through Wickish? Uh, yeah, yes. There's a cleric in the nearby village that tends to all the locals. So we could try and bring the cleric here, or we could try and bring the bear back to Wickish and then go and get the cleric. But I'm not it's sure easier. how we could. Here's yeah, the thing: easier to bring the cleric here. We have the bear won't die. We bought time. Hmm. I can go get the cleric. I have a horse outside. <laughs> Fuck you! <yeah, I'm> <laughs> <laughs> we have a we have a horse. <laughs> We have a horse now, Renatus? I borrowed a horse. <laughs> I'm in heaven. I, bo I borrowed a horse, my lad. Don't move. Stay still. Okay. Thanks for saving me. You're okay. I know it was you. I, I did everything I could. You were you were a real warrior back there. I saw how you were hitting it. It reminds me of who you used to be. We we still are. I'll like touch your chest. <laughs> uh, Renatus will let a tear fall down from his his eye. Neil. Yes. While Grau is under, mm. on the brink of yeah. death. Yes. Is there anything that he might experience? Grau, you. As death approaches, as your wounds are bleeding, as the gloom wing is inserting its eggs into your body, your eyes are gro uh, glossy. You're seeing a light in the distance, and there's a figure 
walking towards you. A figure that starts out as a black bear, um, but as it gets closer, will take on a human shape, sort of like standing up from being a bear, but turning into a a human woman <clears throat> with long black hair that goes well below her, the, the lower cheeks of her butt. Um, gentle, soft clothing, you know, some sort of like, uh, what do you call it, flannel fabric, but you know, that's, um, it's, it's black with like white pinstripes down it almost, not quite pinstripes. And there's a, a symbol, you know, near her chest area, but the, she's backlit by so much white light that it's hard to tell exactly what you're looking at. Um, and she will come towards Grau, who's lying on the ground with one eye open. Um, and she'll pause and she'll sit she'll wait and you'll be looking at her sort of unable to move and then she stands up and starts impatiently tapping her foot (sighs) before shaking her head and giving you like a I'm coming for you Um, and then she'll take a few steps back and just sort of stand with her hands behind her back looking at you and, and the vision will slowly fade all right I think that's going to be it for today's session. All right. Yeah. It was good. <sighs> yeah, good times. Sick. We will see you guys. Oh, go ahead, Nick. Combat. I was saying, there's quite a lot of combat this session compared to the rest of the campaign so far. Mm, we have absolutely. Four, four different fights. Wait a minute. I want... I need everyone except for Growl. Make me a perception check at disadvantage. Just one little thing. Oh Maybe my y'all would have noticed Let's fucking it. Go. Finally, some good fucking rolls. <clears throat> oh. 30, 29, Neil? Yeah. As everyone's standing around and resting and reconstituting. August. You were playing the battle in your head over and over, and you're lying on the ground, yourself almost dead, right? Basically, you know, on the verge of death. Yeah, my eyes are probably closed. There's something that keeps playing in your head. You know, this gloom wing and its shimmering, confusing wings was really problematic, but there's something that you can't get out of your mind. When it lifted off the wall and fluttered in your direction, you could have sworn when you were that like the light off of Renatus's torch was glinting off of something metallic on the wall that was like underneath the moth's body until it jumped off and flew to attack you. You're pretty certain that there was something metal on the wall underneath its body. But you don't know what. All the reason we need to go back in there and kill (sighs) it. Absolutely. I don't think I'd bring it up now. I think very much I'm focused on healing, but I will bring it up eventually to Arrakis, and it'll probably be in passing. It'll probably be like, you're, did you see? Wow. Did you guys see that on the wall? What was the moth coming out of? What do you mean? I think it was just camouflaged against the wall. No, no, there was, there was something metallic, for sure. I've been replaying the battle in my mind, and it was when he came out of the wall, and he, it looked like, I don't know, there was something glinting. And I'll describe it to you. Wow. I wanted to go back anyway, but now I'm doubly sure. It's got to be something. An artifact, perhaps. Regardless. Finders keepers. <laughs> right now, we need to try and get back to our health. <clears throat> okay. I agree. You need to go get that cleric. When we come back <clears throat> next week. Not next week, the week after. When we come back the week after, we will have our party. Hopefully, find a healer and bring them back and bring everyone up to combat capability. And maybe go back in and try the Gloomwing yeah. one more time. We played really late today, um, so there won't be an after show this week. However, <gasps> by the next time we play, there should be two, at least, sessions of Hardly Heroes on the Patreon. So if you want to be able to get free, you know, be able to pre-watch that, go to Save or Die, sorry, patreon.com slash Save or Die. Join in any tier, and you'll be able to watch the Patreon-exclusive campaign on there. 
And make sure to give us your thoughts on the uh, episode in the r slash Koibu thread. We'll be there in the discussion thread fighting with you if we disagree with you. Um, we will disagree with you. A lot, actually, <laughs> yeah. Um, True. And uh, we'll be counting our blessings that we don't run into any more 25 AC characters. True. All right. That's it. Right. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. G how much are you giving for information? I feel like I've seen you know, this guy from where we just came. Oh, yeah. Arrakis? That's him? <laughs> yes, it's the... Yeah, Grau, man. that's the um, guy that this bounty hunter who kills people, that's the person she's looking for, and I think she would like to bring Arrakis home alive, but she will probably kill him if she finds Arrakis. Oh... Not nice, bro. That's... Well... Uh huh. Subtle guys. I get, you know, give me those papers back. I'm gonna go ask the other group if they've seen anything. I'm gonna move my stuff over there too. A few things going on here, Neil, and you're gonna not gonna like this because you do the shit all the time. He's gonna drown. I grapple, <laughs> and I'm jumping into the water with my leaf, and I'm gonna drown this motherfucker. You're making me be uh, a murder hobo. Right? I'm making you be a murder hobo. Wow. Yes. Nice swamp. This is my swamp. <laughs> Goodbye, cool Neil NPC. Do you like the grappling rules? <laughs> he brings his axe no. up and cuts Vasher's head off. Guys, consider surrendering. <laughs> I got 24 health. I think I can survive it. Well, just don't do 21 damage. Bro, Fuck you. I actually cannot believe that. Bullshit. Roy, he looks at you in the face and he brings his axe up and he'll Hello? do 19 and you go Goodbye. down. He will kill you if you don't kill yeah. him in this attack. All right, great weapon master. Might as well get a fucking 20. Come on, come on, come on, come this on. This would be a very good YouTube short, huh? Yeah, it would be incredible. Oh my oh, god! god. Oh, god. <laughs> yes! And it's going to be 26 damage. It's not I, enough. You have right. one extra, you have a bonus great action attack. attack. Mm -hmm. Do you think you can do it? Do you think you can get that much HP on a regular I attack? I think I can. You need yeah. a 16 or higher to hit. 23. Yes! Nice. For 10. That is literally their HP. That is oh, literally yes, yes. their oh, HP. Yes. What the fuck? Yeah. I lean into Cassian because I feel like we're, we're the ones making the decision here. I'm favoring the boat. The boat it is then. Draw Razor, were, were you here before? Were we, did we, have we talked about this plan yet of getting on the boat? I mean, I, we have not talked about the boat. It seems like the group has made a decision here without consulting us. Is there some confusion? Well, um, you're, helping, you're helping us, right? You're helping us. We're the leaders yeah, but, of the party. Well, in order to help you, I think it would be good to talk to us if we make big decisions about plans like this. Do you agree? Then have your says. How would you Thank like you. to go? I think the boat is a good idea. <laughs> I'd just like to make a point about being consulted about such decisions. Well, in this party, we run on a uh, system of voting. How do you feel about that? Voting power is usually determined by physical strength. Well, Razor, I don't think that system works this well with, with this group. I don't think it's... Very well. I you agree with Roll Razor. You have all Let's... surrendered to me, and I have... Not, no, vote. that is... <laughs> Before we... <laughs> okay, so, your job in this recipe is going to be very important, okay? Okay. So normally in a tiramisu, what you add is amaretto, right? Um, What's you've that? You've heard of amaretto. No. Okay, uh, have you ever made booze from almonds? There's no almonds out in the wild. I use leaves and and bridge water droplets. Okay, I'm not good. I'm not good with alcohol. I need. You know what? I trust Cosmo, so I trust you. All right, and you see Briar turn around, and start walking towards the town well to go scoop some water out of. Two hours later, Kenji's gonna dip his uh, little finger in and just have another taste and give a compliment that Kenji very, very, very rarely gives and look at him and go, it's a pretty good, Chef. Thanks, man. You want to know what I put in there? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you want a loan? We're not just trying to get a loan. I think we would like to establish a long-form relationship. Um, you want a long-term relationship with me? I meant a long-term- I would like a long-term relationship with a dragon. Your beauty is beyond belief. I've never seen such a visage and a buxom bosom. Prior like turns to the rest of the crew is like, should we stop him? We should have stopped him about <laughs> half an hour ago. <laughs> Aren't you concerned that you would be crushed?